It's a wee bit crunchy. It's definitely distorted. Just an old one, I reckon. Hello, everyone. How are you? Happy Sunday. What's going on? What are we talking about here? Asterian sleeve is sexy. That's, that's, that, that, those are the kinds of words that make me happy. Uh, I see. I see. I, honest to God, I didn't actually look at the fucking thing before I bought it, did I? Astarian sleeve. I see. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Is that, the, is that the deluxe one? That's the limited box set. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. Really, really into the uh, into the marble patterning. That's just that's just lovely. Yep. Yep. No, I did look at it. I just forgot. Cool. the best tracks and it's just not coming through nice at all hey hey take this Wonderful. i will take it thanks man how you going you're a champion welcome uh four motherfuckers uh what <laughs> papa parakin for 53 months and burly for 27 cheers guys enjoy your subs thank you malachi it's very generous of you a bonjour Toulouse, and hey de boot, how are you, mate? What's going on? Uh, it might not have the art in the jacket that the standard has, but it's still got shit going for it. Yeah, hopefully they include that as like a, as like a piece or something, because uh, the art on the original is so nice. Someone has constructed new photos for the next execution. Wonderful. Do not swear. If I remember correctly, is sitting at home sick as a bloody dog. I mean, just cancelled a business trip. Poor bugger. Uh, throwing out fucking subs. Good on you, mate. Welcome, Sally. Enjoy your sub. Beautiful piece. Yeah, it's also distorted, I think. I don't remember if it was always this way. If it just got old. This is one of my oldest pieces, and um, the dust just gets in the grooves after a while. I gave it a good clean, but not enough. It's crunchy. It's just bloody crunchy. By this side. <clears throat> so, uh, I just pulled out the final half of my broken molar with a pair of barber scissors. Fucking hell, mate. You're supposed to go to a dentist. What are you doing? They take care of that sort of thing. Ripping out your own teeth. Bloody hell. Not the Wild West anymore, mate. That's better. It's not a perfect pressing, but it's okay. Healthcare super is it? Okay. Probably American. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's not bloody cheap here, to be honest, either. 
We get we get fucked on dental quite quite badly. I'll be having this tooth extracted this week, I hope. Finally. But I won't be doing it with fucking barber scissors. Whatever the fuck that is. I hope. Oh, man. I was thinking, fuck, I've put a lot of time into Dragon's Dogma. How do people play these games this much? And, um... And, like, I feel... I just feel tired, you know? From just gaming... Gaming too hard. And, and also painting the side of the house. But mostly the gaming too hard. And then I checked the, um... The other people that have been playing... I managed to put 16 and a half hours on the clock in the last two days. Not bad. 36.4. 31 .2. 21 .2. 23 .4. 35 .1. Even Jamal Gears is on the stream at 24. 20, 24, 20. I don't know how much Peeve's got, but he's probably he's playing it right. I thought Peeve was playing it right now. Oh, he's playing on PlayStation? No, he, he might be. I don't know. He's not. Because I'm using Shin. He can't be. He's not there. Maybe he's hidden his stats somehow. Uh, this is the Nier soundtrack. Nier Gestalt. Or Nier Replicant, as it's known now. This is the first of the Nier games. And it's a very good soundtrack. As is the Automata soundtrack which followed it. And you should absolutely check out those games if you haven't. There's a uh, modern versions available. Nice sim, that sounds right. How I feel about gaming too much in the past few years. I can't do, can't do it like I used to. Yeah, I mean you're not as. Are you on there? I'm thinking of sec. I always get you too confused. I don't know. It's a lot. Now, now ten minutes from Naga. And Tickler, I can handle, you know? Looks like Porn's got seven and a half in yesterday. Not too bad. A reasonable amount of gaming. Chooken and Acare both have 13.2. Fair enough. Mayo at 15. Fair enough, you know? My brother at nearly 20. Yeah, even my brother. Everyone's like, you get to play heaps of video games. It's your job. Even when it's not your job, people, people put more hours on than I do. I don't understand. 36.4 hours, Blaster. I guess because I was a day late, kind of. Uh, they got a little bit of a run on me, maybe? I'm, I'm just feeling... I'm feeling very behind. And, and also just feeling too tired to really just... To game, you know? Better. Playing games is fun. I agree. But some cunts aren't playing them. They are living them. Okay? <clears throat> games like Dragon's Dogma 2 make me never want to be a streamer. I would spend all my time doing boring stuff. I want to be immersed in the game, not trying to entertain an audience. Ah, oh, well, I mean, that's the difference between gaming and streaming, isn't it? I find that I am immersed in the game while trying to entertain an audience, personally. Uh, it is putting on an immersive experience that I that I uh, focus on. Peeve stopped about 30 minutes ago after 16 hours. I, w I was watching bits and pieces, not too much. But when, when he was in areas that I had seen or doing things that I, I didn't give much of a fuck about, I was watching. Catching bits and pieces of him and Shin. I bet Shin's gonna be way over leveled for my party now. It's the near where Laura Bailey go is going off with profanity. Kaine, yeah, yeah. Got a celebrity crush for Laura Bailey. I got a celebrity crush for Kaine, so you know. Same difference, I guess. Vice, you dumbass! Start making sense! Yeah. Dragon's Dogma is actually pretty impressive. Immersive, not impressive. It's, it's impressive and immersive, I think. Yeah. Very immersive game. 
Yeah, Faith, I do, with um, Grimma Vice as well. Oh, amazing. My dentist just went private, so it becomes a whole financial situation in itself. Chances are he wouldn't give me 50% off the price if it was 50% of the two. <laughs> so half of us already come out, you're like, fuck it. <laughs> I'll take the other half out. Nice. Nice. Well, it's done now. You can relax, eh? <laughs> You probably yeah, that's true, Yo Jimbo. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I I just I feel like I get exhausted a lot easier now as well. You know, just the whole like talking while playing and and interacting. It, it it makes eight hours feel you know a lot more like eight hours. There are certain games where that where that doesn't matter. You know, um, and this is one of those games usually. Yeah. I feel like if I if I got on at launch and played all day, that would have been fine, on the on the on the launch day. But I was up doing normal things all day, and then finally get on at night to game, and then go all until like seven o'clock in the morning. Still a big day. But some of these kinds, I mean, Blaster must have have done a twenty-four hour session or something. That's fucking crazy. That's that's I can't. How do you how do you do it? Yeah, some people. I started with this one porn of a guy. I came back and he was like level 30. I don't think he went to sleep. It seems to be a few people not sleeping on this one, huh? Motherfuckers. I got work tomorrow. I just want to play DD2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, rest rest easy knowing you'll play. Let you'll play you get to play more than I do, and it's my job to play it. The night time in Dragon's Dog was great. I've mostly been exploring at night. Um, for the whole vampire vibes. And, uh, it feels good. The near orchestra, really? Oh, I'm very jealous, Ari. That sounds amazing. Awesome. Gloffs, get a mate. What's going on? Oh! <laughs> I don't have the stones to just straight up pull a tooth out of my gob. I feel like if it was hurting, I could get it out. When they're hurting, I want to get it out, you know? I, I imagine pulling it out. There's just so many complications that can happen. You, you hit the wrong nerve and you lose... You go, go numb on half your face or... Lose your sense of taste or something. It's dangerous stuff. That's why they x-ray first, you know, to make sure no facial nerves are in the way and stuff. Heavy metal, how are you, mate? What's going on, dude? Good to see you. Vlad is, dude. Vlad has made a return, and he's looking sexy, looking gorgeous. Do I still have my screenshots? Oh, it was on there a minute ago. Um, where's the, where's, where's the HD, HDR captures? That should look. Look at this. Look at this majestic beast. Would you? Loving that shot. All about that shot. It, I've got a better version of it that doesn't have that on it. Um, there he is. There he is. Oh no. Uh, there. This will be the NVIDIA screenshots, I think. With the HDR on, yeah. That was pretty cool. There's a, there's a griffin's head in the corner there. Like what a what a what a stud, right? <sighs> Celine has been helping me crush goblins, so thank. Oh yeah, she crashing it, dude. How's she feel? How's she feel in the party? Oh, the, the, this one looks so washed out compared to the other one. It's crazy. But yeah, Vlad's Vlad's back, mate. Vlad and Celine. Vlad's uh, newest addition is a uh, vampires concubine. Super, super groovy. Do I still have? Do I still have screenshots in here? Or is it? Just, it's just showing me two. Does it, did it delete the rest of the screenshots? Or is that? Is that? Uh, it's post-game summary, right? So it's not screenshots. Screenshots has been relegated to the bottom. Developer broadcast. The most important thing gets all the real estate. Nobody ever watches it or gives even one fuck, but it's there, you know. Your own screenshots that you took 
right down the bottom. Least important thing in the game. Manage my two screenshots. How do I only have two screenshots? Did you delete all my screenshots? Did I delete all my screenshots? I don't think I did. Weird. It's a lot more than that. Whatever. I think I took some screen dumps and put them... Somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> we'll see more in-game, won't we? I haven't seen the New Orchestra, but me and a few mates uh, like to go to Distant Worlds when they turn up in London. Nice! I think that's the one I did. Yeah, yeah, Distant Worlds is the Final Fantasy Orchestra, right? Um, my wife got uh, tickets for Darius and I to go. Um, it is yet, yet, cool. For my birthday. And I was just like, oh my god, I love you! And we, uh, it, it, it was raining and shit. It was a horrible day, but it didn't fucking matter. Once, once the music, like, it was really irritating. Being in this massive line and then being put into this auditorium uh, with the roof open, you know, and like a, like a, like a football ground on these shitty little fucking seats, a camping chair style stuff. Uh, and it was terrible. And then the music started and it didn't fucking matter at all. It was so good. All of the misery of, get, of getting there and getting set up just faded away, melted away with uh, exceptional performance. Never got an x-ray for a tooth pull before? Really? Hmm. In Holland, I, had a t I went in for a tooth pull. Uh, they x-rayed it and then wouldn't pull it because it was too close to a nerve. And then had booked me in hospital for, for dental surgery. And then when I got to the hospital a week later, they just pulled it. But um, but they were super, super careful about it. Um, because it, 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 it's, it's a total thing. They, if they fuck up the nerve, then yeah. You, you go numb in your face and stuff. I, I, I bet it's a one in a million fucking chance or some shit, right? But, but it's a thing. It's a thing. <sighs> I don't know how the level scaling works, but she's 15 and I'm 8, so she's indeed crushing things. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm i not sure how it works either, uh, to be honest with you. There, there seems to be more to it than just level. Like, what weapons are they using and whatnot. Um, and what class they are and, and shit, shit like that. The sorcerer is just, just do so much damage, it's, it's incredible, regardless of their level. I'm going to turn uh, Celine into a sorcerer next, I think. She's still working on Archer, which is great, but Sorcerer, Sorcerer's much more of a Selene style, uh, like a Lanfear. Um, more so than Mage was, for sure. So I'll definitely be looking at um, getting that going. I think sometimes they use an X, uh, also use an X-ray to check for infections around the root of the tooth. If you're getting a root canal or something, yeah. Don't tell me anything, boot baby. Fully blind run. Even if I ask you, don't tell me. All right? It's illegal. It's not allowed. And I certainly didn't ask. It's one of the few birthday presents that is a consumable, but makes sense to me. Giving chocolate or dinner somehow feels too fleeting. Music, however... The impression and feeling it conveys is lasting. For me, too, absolutely, yeah. You're right, boot baby. All good. Got tickets to a Philharmonic Orchestra performance of the Princess Mononoke OST in two weeks. Fuck you. I mean, have a great time. I'm sure it'll be awesome. I'm not jealous at all. You still have all my jelly, right? Jesus. That's crazy good shit. Tell me all about it when you get back, all right? <laughs> Beautiful. On the 21st of September, there will be a final symphony taking place somewhere in the, uh, in the country. Playing music from 5, 8, 9, and 13. 
That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Apparently there was a Final Fantasy XIV news yesterday. They got a release date for the upcoming expansion and some little nugget of Final Fantasy IX content. Apparently more will be revealed soon. A bit, uh, that's a little bit exciting, isn't it? Potential Final Fantasy IX crossover action? That might bring me back. <laughs> that could be just the thing. Yeah, FF9. I saw, I saw some little shit. Like it had um had um Zidane and uh, and the chick the chick with the green pants. I think. What was her name? Renoa was eight. What was her name again? I really can't remember. Another memory gone. FF9 Princess. Uh, fuck. Anyway, she, there was a, there was a picture of her and a picture of Zidane that I saw and was like, what? Yeah, and apparently they're they're, they're going to reveal more uh, later. But darn it, thank you. How could I forget that? Oh, was it dagger in some places? Was it interesting? Cool. What a tune, man. What a tune. As long as it feels right. Oh, no, I'm not talking about FF7. I'm not talking about an FF9 remake. I'm talking about FF9 crossover with Final Fantasy XIV. They did a lot of Final Fantasy VIII stuff, a lot of Final Fantasy V stuff, uh, particularly in terms of taking bosses from those games and then turning them into raid bosses, which is fucking cool as fuck shit. The Phantom Train and Kefka and X-Death. Oh, so much good crossover stuff, but I can't think of a lot from Nine. If they're doing something fairly big. There's also the entire Rabinasta raid uh, and multiple other Final Fantasy tactics slash Final Fantasy XII crossover stuff. I don't particularly like the Final Fantasy the, the the like Monster Hunter crossover shit, but I don't care. And there was FF15's car was in there. That's the sort of shit that I don't give a fuck about. But the actual proper like we took a sick fucking boss from your childhood and turned it into a sick fucking boss fight to do with your friends is fucking amazing. Does Garnet not wear green pants? Shit. I think, I think, uh, Vile's about to find out that I'm colorblind and that my, and I'm about to find out that Garnet's hot ass fucking tight green pants were a lie my whole life. The very reason my favorite color is green. Thrown out forever. What is life? Did I tell you about that jumper I had when I was a kid? It was a sick ass fucking lightning bolt jumper that was awesome. Um like green lightning bolts everywhere and then it wasn't until years I used to wear this jumper all the time it wasn't until years later my friend told me it would, they were gold I'm like what? gold? we were wearing gold this whole time? what? looks so green to me <laughs> then, you gotta, then, you, then you start getting philosophical you know is, is it gold? if it doesn't look gold to me I mean I'm wearing it for me right? I'm wearing it because I like this jumper Can't, I, can't, I can't go and get one that looks gold to me, because that'll probably be fucking purple or something, right? No, it's fine, Vile. It's fine. It's fine. Beat up the fucking, you know, colorblind guy. I get it. Pick on the little guy. Whatever. It's fine. It's cool. Kick me when I'm fucking down. What color are fucking pants then? Now, now I need to know. Now I need to fucking know. Now you've done it, cunt. <clears throat> Garnet FF uh, 9 pants. You know, I don't need to write pants. I think th her pants will come up. Well, this is a cosplayer in pants, in her pants. They wouldn't fuck up the color, would they? Apparently Google would fuck up loading the image. What, 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 okay, it's more of a more of a leotard than pants, isn't it? What, what, what's going on here? It looks about right. What, what, I want to see it in like in the nice FMV cutscene. Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there no garnet ass shots? Seriously, I want a garnet ass shot. Come on, there must be. Did I imagine all the garnet ass shots? 
No, I didn't. Look there. Okay, it, you know what? Uh, upon further examination, it turns out that my colorblindness was not at play because that shit's orange and there's no doubt about it. And instead, it was a failing of memory uh, <clears throat> and an overactive imagination that has caused the issue. But I'm glad we got to the bottom of it. Sorry for making you feel bad, Vile. You weren't beaten down on uh, people with uh, disabilities. Uh, you were beaten down on people with shit memories because they smoked far too much weed. And that, as far as I'm aware, in the year of our Lord 2024, is still socially acceptable. So that's my bad. You're allowed to beat on me. <clears throat> I'm glad you fixed your brain. I don't know if I can call it fixed. Dragon Stogma has just decided that today it's loading up on a completely different monitor. What are you doing? What are you doing, Dragon's Dogma? Just fucked up all my sh- there we go. N now you got it, but you fucked up all my fucking windows. Yeah, piece of shit. And you're in windowed mode. Dude. One day. One fucking day. I hope to live in a world where when you release this kind of shit in this kind of situation, the government steps in, forces refunds, on all sold products and bans the sale until you fix it because it's just it's 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 too bad oh no cancel cancel do not save changes do not fuck my shit up um it's just so bad what has it decided to do here the last four times i opened this game it opened on this monitor today it's opened on this monitor and now it's saying borderless window but it's clearly not i can see a border it's just window, you know? Fucking cunt. <clears throat> there we go. You got it. We should keep it at 239.97 hertz as well uh, for the refresh rate because the frame rate will absolutely get there. I'm half tempted to just cap it at fucking 60 for all the fucking difference it would make. We'll keep it, we'll keep it, we'll keep it in fantasy land. <clears throat> That's fine. Hey, Pawns, how are you, mate? You're very welcome. Uh, I saw you played 7.7 .7 hours of Dragon's Dogma. I've been comparing people's hours played, because I just don't know how people do it anymore. 36.4 hours, 35.1 hours, 31.2 hours, 28.5 hours, 26.8 hours. The fucking game's been out for two days. <sighs> I noticed you got a good... You got a, you got a clean 7 point something in... Uh, Yesterday, which is lovely. Hey, babe, how are you, mate? What's going on? Uh, I'm so definitely send him home and resummon. He's a monster. I have been watching. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching. A new expletive. I almost shared my 91 month sub and jumped in, but I just I was doing other shit as well, and I thought if I jump in, I'll have to talk and fucking shit and love blah. So I just had you on while I was painting the side of the house and and uh, and a couple of other things. Um, and it also meant that I didn't have to like watch intently and spoil myself, but I'm aware of your ridiculous fucking long ass fucking stream today. I'm not aware of why I can't see how long you've played though. You're not on my list. Everyone's on here, except you. What the fuck is up with that? Why, why can't I stalk your ass? Do you have special stalker prevention privileges? Thanks, Kilo. Welcome to the Expletives, man. How you going, dude? Cheers. Seven-ish hours or on no sleep. Ain't bad. I, I assume it's a testament to uh, the game's uh, awesomeness. Let's hope so. It's an interesting question mark. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like now that it's a full package, it's kind of like... If you're going to recommend somebody play Bloodborne, you don't recommend they play it without the Old Hunters, right? The Old Hunters is an optional part of the game that can be found. And if you find it, the ending of the game is different. And your understanding of the world is different. And I feel like you could apply the exact same logic to Outer Wilds. You could very easily not 
find the DLC or know that it is there in any way and just finish the game, right? Or you could and you'll get a different ending. So I think now that it's a complete package and that person's going to play it in a world where it's a complete package, you don't want to fudge the timeline. You give them the experience, you tell them nothing, you set them on their path and then see what happens. Nice points. I was watching and then you were character creating. I'm like, I'm just going to drop out for the character creation because as much as I love a good character creator, I just don't like being the one watching it happen. I like to be the one who's doing it for 20 hours. Um, <clears throat> so I switched over to um, EGC TV for the semifinals. Marine Lord versus Louis and then Beastie versus Puppy Paw and then I, I never came back. <laughs> transitioned into bed at one point and then I fell asleep and then woke up at some point seeing who had won or hearing who had won and then I woke up this morning not sure if I dreamt who had won or if it had actually happened so then I went and watched the last few games and then you know I was right <clears throat> I couldn't believe it what a crushing blow uh, I normally do offline on friends, so maybe that's it. Yeah, I, I didn't know that, that affects it, but there you go. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to compare hours because you've been you, you you're probably one. Of, I'm at fucking sixteen hours. You're probably one of these cunts in the thirties. You crazy son of a bitch. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Shin is going to have to fuck off for a while, isn't he? I might um might get rid of you for a while as well. Just have me and Celine again. You know, just just the two of us for a little while been getting a bit crowded anyway and then i'll have a look at shin later they do kind of trivia like, so far a lot of this game has been fighting the same fucking things over and over again which isn't actually terrible because the different time of day and the different terrain and the different abilities that you have kind of keep it fresh even though it's still just goblins and skeletons but um you add the add four pawns to your party and everything just dies before you fucking see it At like 35 hours. You're fucked. You're fucking off your rocker, cunt. <clears throat> Alright, fuck it. I gotta catch up. I can't sit here doing two-hour intros, okay? When everybody else is out there just fucking, you know, <clears throat> playing 35 hours a day. Bloody Jesus. Can't use anyone's pawns. I was, I was really enjoying having uh, Shin in my party, but the next time I go to an inn... You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Thank, thank you, Shin. Knowing when to use curatives is... Removed from favourites. No. I, I assume he's still 15 English now. Are plentiful hereabouts. He won't update until I, until I, uh... We can carry. Hit up, uh, you like that one? Uh, pair? That was just for you. Yeah, he won't, um... He won't level up until I hit, a, hit an in. And I've already hit an in recently, so I might be able to keep him around for a bit. 35 hours, maybe two hours into quests. That's my boy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I just made it to town last night. I noticed you're a fighter as well, Peeve. I wouldn't have expected that. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Why do you keep saying that? Tis as you say. Yes, it is tis as you say. Why do you keep saying it? When you do, he'll become all-powerful. Don't get rid of him. True. I'll keep him as long as I can. Um, now, let me think. Right, so I just got my new Royal Gambeson-style fucking armor. Uh, Grand Surcoat, that's it. So we're getting a little more regal. I gotta go pick up my cape. We've got a new sword. We've got a new shield. I upgraded the sword. Obviously, we're going with the rapier vibe. I was thinking about lowering my character's weight that's what we were that's where we were at yesterday lowering the weight as much as possible so that uh so that we can get a, like a dexterous fighter thing going on you know rather than the heavy heavy fighter uh and i'm thinking about uh finally switching selene over to sorcerer as soon as i unlock it and i think i will have unlocked it relatively soon oh no he's going to talk to me stay away from me i don't want to talk don't yapper on at me. 
All right, we didn't do a lot of exploration of the town of, of, of the city of um, not Grand Soren uh, uh, yesterday either. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Shut up. So, uh, so let's do a little more reconnoitering outside as we sort of wake up. We stretch our legs, then we'll get into town and we'll have a proper look around, get get to know the place. That's uh, well, now, that's today's plan. Old one. Almost as old as me. The Perry for 65 fucking months. G'day, mate. How are you? What's going on? It looks great, right? Shame I've no advantage against this foe. Oh, Lord, it's a safe boat. Well oh, cut your tail off. Aha! Tail cuts, baby! Probably the most monster hunter y thing in this game. That people have compared to Monster Hunter. Oh, there it is again. Love it. Love it. Saw and tails are really good. You can use them to make. Miracle uh, Roborants. What's this make? Probably another Miracle. Uh, exquisite Roborant. Ah, nice. Cool. So yeah, Sor Saurian Tails can be combined with uh, Roborants with, with basic heals to um, to make uh, Miracle heals. Like, fucking sick fucking heals. So, definitely worth grabbing those when you can, eh? Oh, hello. A fine display of skill. I can do no less in service to the original. Of it. Shin's fucking flame on. <laughs> I was trying to get. <laughs> what should peeve earlier? Talk to Shin. Like, dude, we've got a plan, right? You need to put the, fu the fire on the daggers for this, yeah? Because he's trying to fight ethereal enemies, which are only, only weak to magic. <laughs> Just <fu> <laughs> And then I think he fucking runs over to kill one goblin or something and flames on for it. And, and then it's like, was that really necessary? <laughs> like, this little peeve and shin banter that's, uh, that's been going on. Uh, really, really, really good watch. Really good vibes. <laughs> Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Mm, off you go then. Not on your black. The shield launch is great, right? Yeah. What is this? The Rift Stone of Duty. I didn't. What? Uh, find pork, a uh, pawns tasked with pawn quests. Ah, oh, cool! Nice. So, specifically ones that have quests. You reward a golden trove beetle. I mean, that's great. Three golden trove beetles? Add marker. What does that mean? Does that help me find you in here? Yeah. Hey, are you? I know precisely when a curative Not is needed. Not you. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. It's receive golden trove beetle. It's the other way around. So then I would have to find golden trove beetles in the world with him with me in the party. Cute. Cool. Excellent. Receive one. It doesn't it doesn't show me what um what they give me. What I get out of this. So I don't give a shit. I'm out. I'm trying to scam someone for beetles and these guys are handing them out. No, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. it makes a lot more sense upon uh upon further thought, uh Peeve. Clearly you would also be trying to scam beetles. But I don't think it's res I don't think it's like give them beetles when you depart with them. Right? As a gift. I think it's I think it's find beetles while they are with you. Although at least that's my guess. One never can have too many of these. Say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter. You wanted the pawn to sound like Jack Sparrow. Oh, I don't know, man. I didn't hear it personally. I right, more more treasure boxes. How did I end up back out here opening treasure boxes? I don't want to be doing this again. 
This is the whole fucking game so far. It's just been opening treasure chests to get absolutely fucking nothing out of them. But I can't help myself because, you know what, I'm not going to look in that chest. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a stand. Alright, Ballister Power. I just wanted to have a gander up, you know. What, what's going on with this town over here? So, th so there is another way into the town. I thought so. I thought I saw Peeve go in from a, from a different angle before. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Are you just, are you mocking me, Shane? Are you just saying what Celine? You, you, you're just saying what Celine says all the time. I think you're fucking funny, don't you? Oh, there's a coin. There's one of those seeker coins on that rock. Curious. Alright, so if I run around that way, no, 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 no. I have to, I have to go back the way I came, and get across the river, at the bridge. That I think that bridge is the only way across, huh? All right, good to know. Good to know. And perhaps you come out that way. Hmm. Okay. Well. What a view! Oh, I'm a last one. No last chest. You swim? No, well, Perhaps I mean, technically we you could swim. To savor the scene. But the brine will kill you, you within say. seconds if you touch any water anywhere. Ever. Same as the first game. So, I bet they put, like, really complex uh, and interesting swimming mechanics into the game. But you'll never get to see them. That because me. Now that because you'll die it. before you, before, before you, you get a chance to. That's what I think. Have you considered becoming a mage yourself, Master? I'm gonna get rid of it next time. I just had an amazing escort quest I couldn't turn down. 10k gold to kill a single Cyclops. Took the pawn with us, hunted one down, sent him home with its now, eye a as a gift. Price, if only twent so far away. I intend to do cook quests like that in the future. Love it, dude! Fuck yeah, man, that sounds great. One of the pawns I hired had a reward for its quest as fairy stone. After I sent a wake stone as a parting gift, I realized that the fairy stone was counterfeit. <gasps> was counterfeit? What does that mean? That's crazy. A forgotten rift stone. Oh, cool quest. Nice nearby. Tis this way, as I recall. I from thought my cook last quest, as in use the eye. The right. Okay, that, 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 makes, that makes more sense. Cool cook quest. That's, I mean, I, I get it. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying. You, you, you want to be out, you want to... Come to think of it, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. They never shut the fuck up, man. No, no, it's, it's cool to be sort of, yeah, immersing, immersing yourself a bit more with, uh, sensible questing. You want a Cyclops? I'll go get you a Cyclops. I'll give you the Cyclops eye. Oh, hello. Really now? You mustn't show- It will be a joy to serve one so gallant. Ace! Pawn quest, defeat an ogre? Reward 2,500 gold. I mean, 2,500 is alright. I kind of know where an ogre is. It's not that far away. Mm. I just feel like it's not the time right now. I've got a few other things that I need that need to be prioritized. <clears throat> Set up quest with awesome rewards to give other players a sudden adventure. Yeah, right? How cool is that? I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? That's a great idea. Not not the rest. Set, setting up setting up wicked quests to uh, to encourage awesome adventuring. Sounds great. <clears throat> there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. You just keep if we are to yapping. break it, it shan't be from this side. 
So it goes. But what does that mean? I don't know what she's on about. But it felt, my character feels so weird at this weight. <laughs> I mean, I mean, such a such a such a tanky cunt for so long. Heavy down. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Okay, so that's interesting. It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Right. It is as you say. I remember this exact place in the original game. Hello. What's in here? Oh, hello! <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, let's have a look at what some of these some of these stores are. I, I was a bit too tired yesterday to really take anything in. Couldn't really absorb a lot. But um, I definitely want to... Oh, hello. Oh, this is the other side of the same joint. I get it. Cool, cool, cool. But I did want to go here. Oi, friend. Klaus, fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids. I've since learned. Oh. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. Oh. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. This is how we get Selene off Archer onto Sorcerer. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. The western road. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fat... Northern, northern, eastern, western. So where I was headed then, I believe, would be considered the western road. So we're looking for goblins out that way. Fair enough. Upgrading this. What was what, the enhancement cost? Is one hundred ninety gold? That's it. Uh, some harpy pinions. I mean, why not? Lowering weight, which is huge. Silver ore and copper ore plus a thousand gold. Now that's a little more pricey. This lovely grand surcoat. Barely any upgrade required at all. Putrid gold teeth. Pulled from zombie corpses. Love it. Game's giving out ma major Elden Ring vibes. Interesting. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't... <laughs> Elden Ring, Skyrim... And uh, Monster Hunter, I've compared it to. I don't, I don't. It reminds me of Dragon's Dogma. A lot. Uh, that's really cheap as well. So I mean, at that price, why not, right? I'll just fucking just go for it at that at that price. That that's quite a bit more expensive, and I don't have the teeth for that. So that's fine. Now, as for you, darling, I don't want to get you anything because I want to. I want to upgrade you. Yeah. Okay. Low life, eh? What do you sell? Mhm. Mm yeah, nothing important. Cool. Oh, there was a cutlass, but you know what? I've got I've got a good sword. I'm happy with I'm happy with everything for now. Let me go to the inn. What was this joint again? Welcome to and quality. This this is where I went yesterday. I just didn't see the other one. Right. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're specifically armor. He was basically weapons. Right. And it's... I presume that's what we're going to be getting for Selene. And I was going to go for these um, thicker, thicker leg guards, but they just weigh a lot more. And I'm trying to keep the so weight down as much as possible again. while keeping the... Uh, <clears throat> while keeping Nothing the fashion <laughs> up high. That's a shame. Oh, hello. From tents to blankets, chairs to cooking pots, our camping kits have all you need for trips near and far. You will not want to go anywhere without one. So oh, yeah. There's aught worth. Need anything? I need my pawns to shut the fuck up occasionally. Do you have anything for that? 
Grass Patterned Camping Kit. Particularly sturdy against monsters that prowl the Vermundian soil. Cool. Uh, extract. What is that? Marcher's Armor. Sold out to the majority of the kingdom's soldiers and sentries. Cool. That's the courtly tunic. What the fuck? It's 155,000 gold. I have one of those. It was gifted to me by Mayo. How did Mayo get 155,000 gold? Buy it and then give it to me. That can't be right, can it? Played the same amount of time as I have. Marches Curas. Unremarkable stuff. Okay, Courtly Breaches, 150,000 as well. Fucking Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> well, that's very odd. And I don't understand. Okay. Do I need to sell anything? I don't think so. Not really. Stop <clears throat> right. by again soon. I will. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, now who else have we got to go and visit? There's a tavern up there. Let's go to the inn quickly first. May I rip in your right off? It's a forgery? It must be. For the weary traveler. I feel we all missed it. There were two vendors at first. Good. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not alone. Alright. <clears throat> so, let me just see here. Uh, you can deposit the modest camping kit now. You can also deposit the homespun cloak. Uh, and the prowler kerchief. Oh, I can't because it's being worn. Fair enough. The Savant's boots. Uh, you're going to be wearing those later. But I'm sure they don't, they don't weigh heaps, so it's fine. You need to deposit all the shit you've been picking up. Because you'll be out of here soon, I think, unfortunately. You was fun, but we're, we're going to have our own sorceress. And then Shin hasn't collected uh, much, really. The fine. foremost hospital. He's going to have to go soon as well. Shame that it is. Okay. In all. But Shin's uh, way too high level, and I'm going to have to go to my thing, so he's going to level up. All right, so are uh, you... With flowers, these books, hoppers. I'll keep the saurian tail... Wake stones and fairy stones. Oh, I gotta find out if there's a fairy stone fucking McJiggy here as well, like a, like a, a crystal or something that I can bind to, FF fourteen style. Withered branches, ill tree bark. I mean, this stuff's all weighing, you know. I I've got, I can't be carrying all this shit around all the fucking time. Fifteen different types of fucking potato, you know. Carrying too much shit. I can probably combine from here as well, right? So I don't even need to carry all this. Yeah, there we go. Now we're fucking getting somewhere. Fuck it. I'm putting I'm putting everything away, mate. I kept one lantern oil and a lantern. That's fine. What are these? Mighty robberants? Is it, yeah, this is good shit. Or the panacea and the waking powder, but I really shouldn't. I should keep some of those on me. Because I'm gonna be very upset. I, I pump I dumped them all yesterday. Pump and dumped the shit out of this place, but. It's not going to feel good. I don't have anything left. Nowhere to find me. Okay, what's next? Uh, I don't want to carry the camping equipment. That's fine. Combine recipe. To use up the rotten shit. Exquisite dried spud. A rare variety of tuber dried to preserve its nutrients. Confume to Okay, it's two ripened princess harspuds make that. And then stop it from going 
going off, right? Awesome. Awesome game. Okay. Now, can I combine from story? A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. G'day, Zara. How are you, mate? What's going on? Well, man, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... I can combine from storage, right? Nice. What's that? Gold thistle. Hmm. But ma maturing something, was it? I should have checked. Oh, there it is. No. Mole eating elixir. A medicine known to soften stiff limbs. Use it to cure petrification. I really wish I had like an alchemy bag or something I could just put all my fucking uh, potions into. Uh, miracle robberance are the way to go, right? An astonishing amount of health and stamina. They're the good ones. Oh, yes. They're the really good ones. Sun bloom and noon bloom combine to make bunches of flowers, which you can gift to people. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Parching concoction dries up excess water on the drinker's skin. Cure the court fire and torch deliberations. Those are things that are that are going to happen, you know. Waking powder, we definitely do pop that sometimes as well. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Thought I could use those for something, but whatever. So, uh, being drenched isn't going to be a problem. Be, like, yeah, de detoxifying could be. Well, falling asleep is a serious problem, so bring two of those. Bring a quenching syrup. I'm not going anywhere cold right now. Uh, I'm probably not going to get knocked unconscious. Or silenced. But having one panacea on hand will fix all of that up anyway. I should sell those at some point. Um, anything else that I want to, that I want to bring? I think we're good. In all Vernworth, you know where to find me. Nice. Now, the final touch. The Expeditioner's Cloak. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, re the, 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 the regal nature of our arisen claim has been restored and we're looking dashing dashing vlad is uh, absolutely back in action things are thing, things are coming together well man, now that we've got the, the fashion the souls of a long journey when treated to down the foremost hospitality in all the let's put uh, one more thing in the old uh, storage nice and uh, i guess this ring can go in storage as well Reduces damage taken from strike attacks. Actually. You know where to fight. Actually. There's no reason why that wouldn't be given to Selene. Obviously. Alright. Thank you. I will peruse at my leisure indeed. Now I gotta get rid of you and Shin, unfortunately. Because I need to go here. <clears throat> get rid of you. Means I'm gonna have to get rid of Shin as well. Orn's in the rift. Hmm. I've a knack for gathering items. I might not have to get rid of Shin. Hmm. Uh you was just such a fantastic person, you know, to have around. She was really lovely. I wish I had something good to send her home with. Something genuinely useful, you know? Am I carrying chainmail? I shouldn't be carrying chainmail. Mail. 
Unfortunately, I can't gift you anything from my storage, which is kind of a pain in the bum, isn't it? I assume it's just one of them, not six of them, right? Not worth the risk. Have some dried meat. There you go. Done. And I love you. Would that I could <laughs> stay with you forever. I know you. I know you've been lovely, but you got to go. I might not have to get rid of Shin. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. I'll serve with redoubled vic. I might be able to keep Shin. Let's see. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. What rumor? Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful. Lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. I suppose tis so. Second after they start speaking, I gotta deal with that shit again. The gay cares infected. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dave, how are you, man? What's going on, dude? Butane, good on you. Good on you, mate. What's going on? Oh, there's definitely some kind of back entrance down there, but I don't know what all that's about. Certainly not going to be... Oh, I guess it's the docks. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Now, we need to find the Western Road, which, unless I'm mistaken, my guess, it's... Hmm. It might be the docks. I might be mistaken. It may be another road. Let's go back in. Let's check through the city. I have to go and find a bunch of goblins on the western road so that I can turn Selene into a sorcerer. Sorceress. That's much more of a, a Lanfear styled role. Yeah, going good, Dave. Just getting warmed up, mate. Just, uh, you know, I've been. Getting my character right. I'm gonna go check out my skills and stuff again soon. After you arisen. <clears throat> Doing a lot of busy work, you know. And then, uh, and then we'll get we'll get cracking. Get serious. You guys drying some fish down here? Oh, yum! How much? I could use some dried fish. Drying it myself is taking far too long. Isn't, uh, isn't it the road that goes west? Yes, yes, but if you, if you don't use a map, uh, it's very difficult to find, uh, the road that goes west, right? And, um, well, I just looked at the map then, but that was probably the third time I've looked at that map since I started playing the game. Uh, I'm glad that I did. But I'm trying not to use, um, <clears throat> trying not to use the maps. Try to... Get a better sense of the world as much as possible. But in this case, yes, it would be the road that goes west, which I didn't know existed. I thought it was the road out there that turned west. And you know what? Technically, it is. But there's also a massive road that goes west out of the city, and I bet that's the one they're talking about. That could be it. That would be it. Beautiful. I'm not taking any passengers just now. Oh. Ox cart service hours. Most carts depart in the early morning, but if you arrive too late or too early, you can pass the time till the next departure. Oh, that's a shame. Let's not be bothering me. Apologies, but I can't... Oh, I thought, I thought it was gonna... You, you can pass the time. I thought it was gonna teleport the time away. <laughs> like the stand in this spot shit in uh, Cyberpunk and all that. Crashiness. Uh, but doesn't seem like it's doing that. You get 25 FPS here on a 4090? Shit, dude. I guess the CPU is the, the big bottle up, bottle, uh, bottleneck now. We're playing in hard mode. Maybe you can use the sun. To yeah, well, the problem with the sun is 
what direction does it rise in and what direction does it set in? That's what we had this conversation yesterday. I know that it rises uh, in the east and sets in the west, but that's just on Earth. Not sure about this planet, you know. But I'm not I'm not like doing it doing a proper no map thing or anything like that. I'm just trying to make the game more interesting. And I find, yeah, getting lost and figuring out where to go, uh, a pretty good pretty good example of more interesting. Most of the time, anyway. <clears throat> Seems to be some little village down there. That wasn't a homecoming I envisioned. I knew the village would be in a bad way, but ne'er did I expect to see an entire bask of Saurians picking out a boat. Indeed, I had not expected things to be easy, but this is looking rather hopeless. I expect we've the dragon to thank for this as well. I see which way the wind's blowing. Uh, what a bo hmm. Interesting. So if I talk to them, they don't say anything, but you can sort of stand near them and glean information. Hey. Oh, these could be these could be the goblins. Up, oh, boys. No compares to the thrill of victory. Hey, I saved your life. Help but feel of an act for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll hmm. craft what I can using what's in my pack. Camp in the Vernworth area three times at different locations for a savagery extract. Eh, I can live without that. I'll take the 200 gold though. Probably from a goblin corpse, but I'll pretend that she gave it to me. Then I feel better. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh. So, uh, this should be the Westernly Road, and there were goblins. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Up there. I suppose it is so. I'm just not entirely sure which pack of goblins we're looking for. Campfire over there. Oh. Well now, he is an old Oh shit, alright. Shin, I need you to do your thing again. There we go. Chin, get your, get your fire daggers out. Atta boy. Whoa. That cunt's armor. Holy shit. And gobbies. Oh god, come here. Can't grab you. I don't know why. Oh shit, that's bad. How are we looking? Oh, through the legs! Nah, no, he still got me. Shit. I was looking pretty good though for a second there. I don't know. Oh, I was lucky. Jin! Fuck, he's bailed on me. Oh, Peef! What an unreliable cunt. This is what you get for relying on Peeves people. First sign of fucking real danger. Whoop! Out of there. Whoa, I did not see that coming. All right, in your face. Let's go. Boom. Oh. Shot. Don't kill her. Let us see what you made of. This brute has quite the temper. The 
Oh, oh shit. I shall protect you. I'm fine. Oh, good shot. Got him in the eyeballs. Love it. Shin! Shin! I'm very sus about this. Fuck, 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 fuck. We've got a, a row robber runt. That seems good, yeah. Do you have a Oh, <laughs> what a parry. Oh no, don't grab me, don't grab me. Oh. You must be tricked to balance so predictable. What's that? Oh! I'm unconscious. Okay, good. Go for her for a minute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me you. Oh, I don't want it. No, no, no. Good. Well placed strike. Gandhi Skyward. Come on. Let's go. In the face. Let's go. There we go. Oh! That's it. Oh, God. I'm in trouble. Oh, made all this stuff to use it. Let's go. Oh god. The proper fucking cycle. I can't believe I'm getting bullied by a oh no. Right, bailed on by Shin, just completely bailed on, and then bullied by a fucking boar. That, that goblin's got a rock. Uh oh. See, through his club! He picked his club back up again. That's not good. Alright, I'm chopping his armor off a bit though. That's good. Yep, nice. Nice. Yep. Oh, blocked it. Dodge, you know, so when he does that grab, I'm not sure what the what the play is supposed to be. I think he's angry. Yes, grab him. Beautiful. Jump. There we go. Are you hold are you holding onto his fucking leg, huh? Thank you. Right, we don't need to climb him now. Oh, the amount of damage I could have been doing to you if this game was re a little just a little bit better.
Ha okay, how did I get onto his back? Oh no. I'm gonna be eating that at the campfire in just a fucking minute. You just wait. Look at his, oh man, his face is all mashed up. Arrows hanging out of his gob. Fucking looking sick as fuck. Tired, like he's worn out. Shot. Shot. Near. Oh! Oh, shit. Rapier in the ear to finish it off. Harris! For one of our executioners is returned. One of our executioners is returned. I'm glad whenever you get a chance to come and pop in, man. Thank you very much for being here. Hope you're having a good day. Weapons Cheers, are simple baby. enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Now, where is that fucking thief cunt? Now, if he died, I would have seen it pop up, right? Ah, yes. The smell of proper devotion. Welcome back. Old friend, we've missed you. Sass, thanks for 35 months. Cheers, mate. How you going? Good to see you, baby. <laughs> Hunting some uh, mistakes. If he died, I would have seen him fucking disappear. Did, did anyone see him die? Anyone see Shin die? I'm, I'm genuinely asking. I'm very confused. Unless he fell into the brine. I mean, we are kind of close. What happened? Oh, look at that. No more rocks, dude. We've got nice little seats and shit at our campsite now. Beautiful. Or a ghost took him? Took him where? <laughs> he might have got yeeted into the water. I like, um... I think I saw him, dead from, saw him taken out by a ghost. Another expletive. Miki, thanks for seven months. Cheers, mate. Welcome back. When you say a ghost killed him in the beginning, you mean a ghost killed him and he fell on the ground and a picture of a skull popped up on his head and an entire bar appeared next to the skull, timing how long I had to resurrect him? Is that what you're saying? Because you're not being very descriptive, that's all. That's all. You sound confident, but 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 I, I I just I just question the confidence. That's all. Confidence either comes from intelligence or ignorance, and in my experience, particularly on this godforsaken fucking website, it's just always ignorance. And I'm curious, Rennie, if you're the exception or the rule. Oh yum. Oh yum. I did cook up a big fat fucking scotch to it last night, by the way, and it was great. I'm all for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Who's cooking? Yeah. Looked to me like he got consumed. Okay, so some, so so the theories are either he got knocked into the brine, or a ghost reduced his health to zero. And ghost specific finisher. I'm beginning to think that our master is simply fond of camping. Suck him out of this world. How explain why we so rarely stay at inns? That video was different. It did look different, didn't it? I don't think it was a different kind of meat. There are different kinds of meats. That was a beast scrag. Oh, maybe that was a finely aged beast scrag. We'll never get. As a, as opposed to a finely aged beast scrag. Beast steak. Sorry. Yeah. Scrag of beasts, aged. Beast steak, aged. Maybe it was different. The light, the lighting was definitely different. It might have just been you were cooking at night. Yeah. Anyone Although I'm sure I've cooked at night before. Rest? 
Okay. Okay, well. I was planning to keep Shin around, because if I try to bring him in now, he'll he'll be way, way, way too high level. But, uh, but he's gone. I think, I think we're head cannon, the going got rough. And he got fucking going. That's, that, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And Peeve will answer for it. It's the only, 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 only fair, uh, <clears throat> uh, sort of outcome, I think. Re recompense must be paid. You're responsible for your pawn actions, right? We're all responsible for our pawn's actions. Whoa! Wolf pelts or wolf hearts or something? Oh, like Gold, no. Mega boss for 17 months. G'day, mate. I got Dragon's Dogma 1 on Switch. The magic system is very fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the big... Uh, Big selling points of Dragon's Dogma. Climbing and magic. Uh, for sure. And Dragon's Dogma 2 is, yeah, largely identical in that, in that regard as far as I'm concerned. Now, are we still on the western road? We're certainly fighting gob- Hey, yellow. We're certainly fighting goblins along the western road, to the best of my knowledge. How ah, yes. do you know when you've found the, the right one? Of proper devotion. Weapons are simple Welcome enough back, to procure if we the coin, We've but you. we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Loin scabby, you sick cunt. What's going on, bro? How's the dog man? Good, man. Good. Good, yeah. We're, uh, we're trying to uh, turn Selene into a mage, uh, into a sorcerer. <sighs> Uh, so we have to find some goblin Over so soon, cunts. If we mastered that attack, we would be invincible. Apparently. Whoa! Hello. Fair enough. Got the Sorens involved. Just when you're thinking everything's too easy. Oh, okay. Fucking hell, mate. Working on it. I knew you were going down. Huh. The amount of times I'm getting backstabbed by you. Yep. Happening again. Happening again. Just ganged on. All right, I'm out of heals. I, I I used up so many of my heals last night that I've really I, I've got good heals, of course, but uh, but I've used up all the basic shit. Fair amount of health. That's stamina. Uh, I don't think I can combine anything anymore. No. What does that make? Explosive arrows, that's not going to help me. Shit. 
we're in trouble. Okay. We're gonna have to do this strategically. I don't think so. Yep. Oh, you're all over it, huh? Oh, what a... Oh! I swear I didn't turn around then, but alright. Here. Fuck. Yeah. It's just not viable. The gang raping is too too intense. Even with good parry. And that 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 this cunt, this goblin chief or whatever fucking knocks me around hard. Right. Nope. Caught me on the sprint. I got one more chance to get her up before this goes sideways. They are pretty on me, so I don't think it's going to happen. Oh! All right. I thought I'd met my end. Thanks to you, Robinson. Good bit of teamwork. No. Always the same fucking shit every fucking time, you cunt. Get up! Fine. Why did you turn around then? It just said light. Oh my god, and it killed me. Oh my fucking god. I was just thinking it was getting too easy. And then they give me that shit. Horse douchebag. You never you never know what's coming next. No matter how hard a thing is, you never know how hard the next thing's gonna be, right? There are useful I gotta... ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Stop talking about ingredients and sitting on your ass, you dumb bitch. There's a fucking army coming for us. This is how we end up dead. I have to get a handle on this shit before it's too late. Oh, now I had my shield up then. And I know I did. Okay. We just we, we just got to keep it manageable. Here's where it gets fucked. They blow their horn, and crazy shit happens. I don't see the Saurians jumping in this time, so that's something. 
<laughs> you just blocked that shit, huh? Nice. I don't know why your arrows went through, but fine. Oh, he's throwing a sling. Uh... That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Alright, now we know. I don't know why I try and get creative with this game. Everything other than parry and hit is just a laugh. Oh yeah, you can throw rocks at them, but don't bother because if the, you throw a rock and they happen to jump at the same time, it's not like it, the game's well designed. It's not like the rock's going to hit him in midair and knock him back. He's just going to teleport through it and the rock's going to go away because, you know, who gives a shit? I give a shit, you dog cunt fucking video game. Now I'm not going to want to pick up rocks anymore. Vlad looking very majestic and badass. Thank you. We're, we're feeling very majestic. Feeling less badass because I just got killed by some bullshit. And then it reloaded right here instead of at camp where it should have. And now there are no Saurons here. Enough to procure if we the coin. But we might be lucky enough to... I enjoy tackling fierce I need you to shush before you go into the drink, all right? Shut the fuck up or go in the waterfall. You got, those are your choices. I'm not in the mood right now. <clears throat> Okay, well this would constitute some serious goblins on the fucking western road action, right? Yeah, you know it. You know it, Dave. We got it, we got it last night just before I got off. Oh, hi. This way. I mind doing some fucking damage to these cunts occasionally. These cunts are sneaky. Love of the comments so many. When it works, it, it, is, it is meaty and thick and fucking fun. Like, everything feels heavy and weighty, you know? It's good, good. It's, uh, it's also... A hidden path? I suppose there will be monsters lurking beyond it. Really fucking janky. Uh 
That's the way to do it. So Oh, that was a good one. Shit. I got distracted. And apparently couldn't happen. Oh, I didn't you know I should have seen that. Should have seen that. Well, we got that we got the double team going again. This is where it gets rough. Every time you parry one, the other one opens up. No. None of those do anything. The only, the best chance I got. It's like it's like their stomach or something is um is that like they got a soft underbelly. It's quite hard to get them to expose it. Maybe the, maybe the tail? Can I get around and cut your tail off? Nope. I'm gonna attack from behind. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm just seeing that coming. Yeah, so there we go. Get the tail off. And then stab him in the bum. I mean, there's some cool strategy going on here, right? Like, my, my just simple tank and spank just isn't working, and I need to come up with another strategy. Uh, and that's fucking... That's good vibes, man. That's really good vibes. Not very often do you get that in an action game these days. I thought I had met my end. Crow. Thanks to you, Arisen. Four years, mate! A month per each pawn that has met their untimely uh, demise. Yeah, well, we'll be catching up to that pretty fucking quick, I assure you. Cheers, mate. Hang on. Alright, I don't need sick treasure. I just need... See, I don't need thunderous concord. No. No, no mages. Mages just fucking heal you. Constantly. Making all of your food collection redundant. Yeah, they, they, those have fish on them. And drop fish. Oh shit. Yeah, oh, good kick. <gasps> no, no, no! No way! That was a great kick! After all that. J-Dubs, my good friend. The, uh, I, 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 having to explain this to you makes me feel like it will be falling on deaf ears. Because either you're a big enough boy to understand that deluxe editions and digital deluxe editions and we'll give you an extra three items in the game if you pay us extra money additions ah, are yes. for saps, right? They're the a scam. Smell of proper devotion. Specifically Welcome targeted, back, old friend. the lowest common we denominators. You. Yeah, the bottom of the barrel. The peasantry. Yeah? To take more money out of the dumb people. That's why they're there. There's never been an instance where that wasn't the case. So, if you haven't come to this conclusion by yourself and you think, yeah, no, it's probably actually like a good idea if I pay like 25% of the money that the entire fucking video game cost to make and they're charging me for, like the recommended retail price, I should pay that on top so that I can get a fucking cape or some shit. If it hasn't occurred to you, 
that's not a terrible fucking idea that's obviously been specifically designed by a marketing team to target simple-minded individuals, then you probably are the simple-minded individual that they're targeting, and you should probably buy it, buy it, yeah. Is my take. Otherwise, how are these poor bastards ever going to make any money? <clears throat> More generous with the checkpoints than I expected, isn't it? Alright. Do you like me some of my stats? Okay, first of all, not what we're talking about. Shut the fuck up. You might as well have just said, I also like eating bananas. Okay, for all the relevance that it has to this the current situation. Because nobody about. said physical collector's edition, did they? And it would be fucking stupid to talk about physical collector's editions when discussing digital deluxe editions, right? Because they just don't have any fucking connection whatsoever. One of them specifically adds additional digital items to your purchase, and the other gives you physical collector's items that are limited in stock. However, if you do want to talk about that shit, they're cheaply made, almost always. Um, like, 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 three D printed in a fucking factory. And aren't you getting a little bit sick of the same fucking shit? Fucking statue after statue. Oh, I, am. <sighs> I think it's a bit fucking. I think it's a bit basic now. I got a garage full of statues. Yep, there he goes. Beautiful. This time I got the jump on you, bitch! <laughs> we mastered that. I, I'm, I'm more we partial to invincible. like a cloth map or something, you know? Some shit that's, that's like a nice collectible, it's been well produced, but is also functional in some way. Like if you get a cloth map of the game, like that for example, and you use it to find your way around, well then... You get the best of both worlds. To procure if we've the coin, but I certainly like to see uh, records, vinyl, or music CDs, those sorts of things, because then you get, get the soundtrack that comes with the game, which again is a practical, useful uh, item. I'm not saying that statues and art books aren't practical and useful. I feel like they're just less practical and useful. <laughs> They're, they're, they're cool for five minutes, and then you forget about them forever. Or you put them up on a fucking shelf behind you as a fucking YouTuber, and everybody can see your shelf of fucking collectibles. And it's just so trite, isn't it? Overdone? I don't know. Anyway. Different conversation. Can I... Make a dried spot, apparently. Can I make dried fish? Yeah, so, okay, so you have to have aged fish in order to turn them into dried fish. They do restore much more health. Not much more health. And now that I know that, um... <laughs> now that I know that camp uh, kits don't get used up uh, after that thrilling discovery yesterday, I can camp a lot more often and fill my health back up, so that's nice, too. Okay, cool. So, now where were we? Searching through the Sauron... Saurian cave. Or something. And before I forget... Ah, you've got surety in your step. Not to worry. You'll find your feet in time, I'm sure. One more word out of you, Celine, and I'm turning off the fucking... I'm muting, I'm gagging you again. You're getting the gag, okay? Not in the mood! You smarmy shit. What's that equipment? Where? What is that equipment found? The stuff you're wearing minus the sword and shield. Where? Where? Oh, where? I'm sorry. Did you no feel like? Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. <laughs> you walked into the tips and tricks section of Twitch. Pickle. That's some funny ass shit. What the fuck kind of answer did you think I was gonna give you? What, what was that? I'm going on with the power in this room, I'm telling you. 
I just turned the air conditioner off and my fucking monitor flashes. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <clears throat> yeah, it's found in the find it your fucking self, you fucking little bitch section of the fucking local fucking armory, okay? I'm gonna wear my secret. Yeah. <clears throat> You wanna fucking go and cheat, you go and fucking cheat somewhere else. I don't support that shit. Boom. Never saw it coming, did ya? Scrag of beasts, get into my curing sack. I age you delicately. And cook you up over a fucking fire and all will, will be well. Okay, now where the fuck am I? You watch, watch. Nip down the western road to kill some goblins, and I'll be out here the whole fucking day. Whoa! Awesome. <laughs> Rack shot. No compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Okay. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking... Goblin cave? Whoa. Whoa, nearly. You will not live to regret this! Whoa! Oh, lucky I got a shield. Fucking sneaky bitch snuck right up on me. Oh, I see you're stuck on a fucking terrain again. Up, lads. Is that how it's gonna be, is it? <laughs> oh, fucking favoritism. Oh. There goes me dried fish. Think you're going. Right. Player level am I at? Ah, oh, fifteen, maybe. Sixteen. Hey, there's the, the tooth that I need to upgrade my armor. Interested in this game? Does anyone know if it's possible to get items that will help you fast travel, or is that strictly a microtransaction Weapons thing? Are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Yeah. As far as we know. As far as we've been informed. Though I think more due diligence is required because it's rather complex. Uh, yeah, you can get at least most. Of the shit in the game. <clears throat> of the shit on the store in the game. Yeah. So far, in in 20 hours, the, 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 the concept of there being microtransactions hasn't come up. Which is, you know, something. Like you know, I feel I feel like I saw with like Assassin's Creed and stuff when you went into the menu, like it had it had stores and stuff like that. Like there's none of that. 
It's just that there's DLC on the store, <clears throat> and it's pretty fucking disgusting shit. Well now. Ah, yes. The smell of proper devotion. Welcome back, old friend. We've missed you. G'day, sis. How are you, mate? Thanks for 40 months. What's going on? Nice to see the game... Oh, a game I reviewed being played here. Hey, nice. Good on you. It also happens to be the hottest new release. Uh, so I think the likelihood of this being a coincidence and more just, you know... Uh, <clears throat> the natural order of things is, is a little less, but I see what you're saying. Uh, and, I, and I'm also glad. I didn't know you reviewed stuff. Good on you, mate. You play through these big games with no maps. Just vibing is the best content you can get. Thanks, man. I like, I like the, the way it feels, you know? So, I, I can't avoid the fact that there's a massive map when I press start, but there is two other versions of maps in this game that I'm not using. And, uh, and I try not to use the, the big one whenever possible. It's pretty good. If it weren't for the mass amounts of people bitching about the microtransactions, I wouldn't have even known they were there. Yeah, look, that's the thing. I wouldn't have either. So, they get points for that. Even though it's fucking disgusting business practices, it's clearly the sort of thing that was tacked on after the development of the game, and not something that was intrinsically designed within it. <clears throat> like, fast travel being restricted in this game is not so that they can sell fast travel microtransactions. That's just how this game is, and how it always has been. Right? And how, how the first one was. You're supposed... The passage of time is an important part of the game. How long it takes to get to places and how difficult it is to carry things to places is all part of the game mechanics. Things age, um, you get better prices at certain places than you do at others, uh, and it plays into the, uh, the pawn uh, quest as well. It's an interesting structure. I really love the design of this cave. Very cool. <clears throat> Have I played the prequel? Uh, the previous installment in the series? Prequel means something else. Uh, unless there's a prequel. <laughs> yes. It was a long fucking time ago. But yes. I had a ball. I had a ball. I loved that fucking game so much. Hey, JJ, how are you, man? Wow. For a moment, I thought I had met my end. My thanks to you, Arisen. That's why I'm not healing her. Just bringing her back up seems way more, uh, way more, uh, cost efficient, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa! Did not see that coming. That was awesome. Oh. Rough. Rough as guts, man. Hmm. Cinnamon bark. Oh, that's an old looking fucking door, isn't it? What is that? Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Getting another character without paying for it is the worst for me. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fucked up, yeah. Huh. Interesting. 
interesting. A common iron greatsword, sturdy and easily handed, it is oft the first hilt grasped by warriors in training. This is what we were sent here to get. But I don't know if it was what we were sent here to get. If that makes sense. Gold. Okay, so that might be one of those doors that an appropriate choice arisen. I'll gladly take the lead. Raising her and not healing her is also more Draculescent. It's a beautiful callback to yesterday. I love it. Ooh. I did not hear a word. Snuck right the fuck up on me. Cheeky little bastard. That's how you'd solve that if I was the game developer of this game. This game would be way better. Those aged fish uh, <clears throat> go, go alright, don't they? Staff by any chance? If this was if this is a staff, Rangers tights. Leg armor fashioned from supple fabric that stretches to stretches to accommodate the wearer and masks signs of wear and tear. I can't obviously um, equip them, but I reckon Celine maybe can. Yeah. No. Archer, thief, question mark. G'day, nachos. Yeah, yeah, you're still, you're still fanging it, man. Good on you. I'm not sure why she can't wear it. Picking things up, aren't you? But I doubt it's going to matter too much. They see me. It looks like they see me. Another wreck. How'd you like that, mate? You get for throwing torches around, you dickhead. Not so much heavier now. Uh, Firstborn acorn, what's going on, cunt? How are you, mate? Good to see you. Racking. Yeah, we come in here, All right? <clears throat> 18 hours myself, dude. The cunts are at 34, 36 hours.
All right. I, I apparently not. Yeah. Tried swapping to a bunch of classes, but Thief still feels the best. If you like the dodgy, slicey, jumpy, spinny, fucking uh, playstyle, you can't beat Thief. Yeah. But if you like uh, sh shooting giant balls of electricity at bad guys, the Thief is fucking terrible at it. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. If that is what I think it is, I'm so in love with this game. An arc staff of bronze, wrought to resemble horns, the pointed tips readily harness magic, granting even novices a boost in magic potential. Dude, this is what we came here for. This is the quest. It's not run down the road and press A on some fucking random cart, right? We actually had to find some mad-ass goblin fucking infestation in a massive cave network way the fuck out the fucking city and in it, open up two treasure chests that specifically had the weapons that were stolen. What the fuck? I thought I was dreaming, mate. I thought there was no fucking chance this was gonna be it. And I'd be... Three hours from now, walking back towards the town, and I'd stumble across the stupid fucking finish of the quest. That is so cool. So cool. Almost missed this too. I got the sword, could have handed it in, but decided to keep exploring. How do you know you could have handed it in? Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. That is cool. Slicing up overs while spinning like a motherfucking Beyblade never gets old. True, true. I like, I like, I like that shit as well. But, um, <clears throat> it's a different kind of play style than a lot of people are going to be into it. Why, tis a I was clamoring on cunts. Thief smangs at the clamoring. Yeah, my, my guy's been getting better at it now too. That I am not so weighed down. But, uh, yeah, the thief, the thief clamoring is about as good as it gets. I agree. Ah, uh, the quest marker disappeared, alright. You use quest mar- I, I was just trying to get you to admit that you use quest markers like a fucking... simpleton. Some little basic bitch. So. <clears throat> just confirming my suspicions. No yellow paint for us, man. I came here at night, it was fucking terrifying. Dude. Dude. I love it. I love finding out what's in this fucking door or more. Each of the jail. The jail. Clearly this isn't the jail. Hmm. Recently changed my Arisen from Thief to Archer. Loving the change up. Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. I um I was going to change to Warrior. But, uh... And I, I still might. But in doing so, I'd have to get rid of my Rapier. As far as I'm aware, you have to use a two-hander. Although two-hander Vlad seems pretty good. And I might learn some cool skills with two-hander Vlad that could then be used with Rapier Vlad. So I don't know. I don't know. There are options. Yeah... Uh, I happen to... Uh, but yeah, I do use them. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fucking girl. Absolute fuck. Need my GPS to, to play video games. Otherwise, I just get lost all the time. And it's not fun, right? Well, now, Don't even have time to play video games. Old one. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Embarrassment, you are. Embarrassment to the expletives. Hey, Placey. 62 fucking months. I caved. We're having a ball venturing around with Avienda. So I'm not feeling too bad about it. Respect, brother. That it was a challenging decision for you? Speaks volumes. No. Oh 
my god, really? It's gonna be like this? Ah! Eat a dick! Oh god. What happened, bitch? Fully armored cunt. Oh, love it. Yeah? Want some too? I will slice you up, bitch. You don't even have armor. You got no fucking hope, mate. Slate colored horn. Okay, so these guys are definitely something else. Any other, uh, any other snacks? Don't forget to bring snacks. I mean, I can have, I can have a raspberry. I can break a rock? Well, that's cool. <gasps> you cheeky little cunt! <laughs> you run yourself over, mate. Lucky I caught that. Could have got. That could have been worse. <laughs> Go! You can't break a door, uh, but can break a rock, yeah. Maybe another apple? <laughs> Think. Uh, okay. We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. Place is fucking crazy, isn't it? Oh, did I come in through there? I feel Weapons like I came in. Weapons are simple in... enough yeah. to procure if we the coin, but Malene, you just you, you just kill every moment for me. Every good moment is punctuated by weapons are simple enough to procure if you have the coin. Otherwise, you have to look for treasure. I know. Why? Why? My rig is struggling even on low settings on the 2080 Ti. What resolution, Barber? If I can break more shit. I thought I got that. Brick. Don't giggle. Don't you giggle at me, you. Ow. Little bastards. They give as good as they fucking get, don't they? That was thrilling. Was it? I did not know I could feel so alive. Honestly, I think you're overreacting. Oh. Sleeping goblin and sick treasure chest. Interesting. 1920 by 1080? Fuck me, I'm not a technical man, I'll admit. You should make sure you know, because the difference between running 1080 
and running at 2k is which is um <clears throat> what i'm running at is a completely fucking different situation 1080p then surely okay and yeah i don't know man didn't you say you're on a 20 series card 2080 ti that means that you should have dlss as well we tried using DLSS on um, Ultra Performance. That should do a lot of fucking heavy lifting. The goblins have horns on their head. I didn't see any. Not a fan of DLSS either. Well, I'm a fan of DLSS. It's great. It's just if you don't need DLSS, you don't use DLSS. It does make things look shitter. In this game in particular, it makes things look quite a lot shitter. Um, sometimes it's barely noticeable. Other times it's pretty bad. But if you don't, if you don't need it, you don't need it. I'm 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 doing fine on the on the frames without it. Uh, if if it gets to the point where I can't maintain 60 though, I'll put it on. But as long as I can get a good 60, I'm happy. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Shut the fuck up. You don't really want to run DLSS under quality on 1080. You reckon? I didn't know that. Hmm. Feels like I've tried it all. Well, if you didn't know what resolution you were running at, then you're just not mentally equipped enough to, to know whether or not you've tried it all. Trust me. <laughs> it's a lot more complicated than you think it is. And resolution is the fucking very beginning. All right. That's okay. You got to learn these things someday. But uh, <clears throat> trust me, there's a... <laughs> There's a, an ocean of shit that might be causing you a problem. And uh, it's not as simple as turning everything on and then off again, right? Um, but... There's a lot of people here tr struggling with the same problems. Lightfellow said something yesterday that got he got his working a little bit better. I wonder what that was. Gotten now. DLSS is very hit or miss for certain games. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it helps more than others. Sometimes it just looks worse and better than others. When I tried it, it gave everything uh, a smoothness, you know. And uh, and I and I wasn't I wasn't digging the smoothness. Oh, that, oh that's that's here. Okay, I know where we are. And where the fuck is that chest, man? I feel like I'm missing something, right? For a start, is there a... Oh, no, this, this is the highest bridge? No, there's a higher bridge. <laughs> I'm pegging this thing up there. Shame as it is. You mind? Hmm. Hmm. The LSS needs a minimum resolution to work to well. Sure if we've the coin, but. Ultra performance at 1080p would render the game in 240. You don't want to try to upscale from 240. Not enough image uh, in, in info. Okay. Well. Uh, I, I don't know what all that jargon mumbo jumbo means. But I would have to try it. If I was in that situation, and then determine the best results based on what I can see with my own eyes. But that's just about how I do everything. I feel like it's mentally, mostly meant for 4K. Huh. I thought it was mostly meant for... Improving the quality uh, of video game experiences by increasing the frame rate using predictive AI technology to guess 
which frames are coming next. Not, no, I, I, what, what your card's talking about is the image upscaling element of it, but it's not, that's, that's not all of it, is it? I swear there's, um, there's, uh, an AI element to it. I ended up turning off DLSS. First game I've played where it didn't help performance and made the game look like it, like it was smeared in Vaseline. Yeah, yeah, interesting. My bad. Nothing? Okay. A hidden path? I suppose there will be monsters lurking beyond it. Somehow I feel like I overcomplicated that. Ring of cooling. A ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic. It reduces damage taken from fire attacks. Cool. Sure. Good. Slightly bit of a uh, slight, slight bit of health difference. Oh, are you the boss? Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, 400 gold on him, too. 400 gold in a ring hiding in the back of this joint. Nice. It still doesn't explain to me why there's an entire section above me. With a rope bridge. That I feel like if I had an explosive arrow and was playing an archer, I'd be able to shoot the bridge at, blow it up, have it fall down and then climb it. But I don't think playing different vocations would allow you to access different areas like that. At least I don't think so. It doesn't feel like that. Ring of air conditioning, sign me up. It's getting pretty warm, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all that shit, lovely. DLSS boosts frame rate by rendering frames at a lower resolution, root resolution than displayed and using deep learning, a type of AI to upscale the frames. Okay, so it's the, it's the AI using the, the AI is doing the upscaling and that's what it's doing, okay. Takes two low resolution frames, uses AI, outputs one high quality frame. Okay. Nice lulls. So addicted to DD2. Yeah, having a good time? Nice. Yeah, well, okay, so with the door, the door, the, the, yeah, I don't get the door. I don't get the extra layer. And maybe they're connected. Well, I can't spend the whole day here, can I? We've got, we've got a job to do. <clears throat> we need to get back and get Celine, uh, upgraded to Sorcerer. And probably have a look well, at our class. It's simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we actually, might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Could very easily go warrior with Vlad for a while and just feel how that that works, and then see what kind of cross class pollination is available between warrior and fighter. It might better suit our situation. It's as busted as I thought it would be, being able to manually aim. Oh, yeah. 
do you mean be like being able to sit back and snipe enemies from places where they can't hurt you or something? Hey. Daytime. Oh, it was daytime when we came in here, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I'm just used to the nighttime. Full glad am I to see the sky again. Hmm. Careful that griffin up there, though. Yeah, Judy, absolutely. You ask somebody to explain themselves and they can. You know you got it. You know you got a good one, don't you? <laughs> Someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Good on you, Jitty. Well played. Okay, I'm not going anywhere fucking near that. Okay. So taking the western road, southwesterly, is the Griffin area. We've not been up around that mountain we could go north from here all the way up into another area i don't believe we've we've seen anything of at all um oh, it definitely seems like there's a lot more world going on around there how oh, cool all right, all right no time for any of that <laughs> someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution have they wonderful Oh, Dave gifted one to Jitty. Jitty, Jitty's gifting out subs to sick cunts and not even subbed themselves. And Dave's fixing that up. You guys are just too cute. Thank you very much. Welcome back, everybody. BLSS Ultra Perf on 1080 game renders it at 320. You, 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 you didn't, you did say something to the effect of you think it was um 340. So I mean, you know, bravo. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Might I do disagree, though, that DLSS is specifically <laughs> designed for 4K resolutions. I don't, um... I feel, I feel like it, depending on the game, it helps a lot of people play at a, at a frame rate that would be no, just completely unachievable. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? At a lot less than 4K. But apparently not at 1080. It must be, <clears throat> must be, two K sweet spot, right? The DLSS is designed for RE, for Resident Evil, or oh, for ray, for ray tracing rather than 4K. Is that? Now I'm confused again. Whatever. Where's that tail? Give me that tail. You're not giving me that tail. I love how they switch between step back mode and fucking fight mode. Nice. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. I think he just killed me. Yep. Absolutely. I, I st I'm, just, I'm just falling over. He's just wailing on me. And that tail didn't come off. The whole time. What a crazy motherfucker. Brother Tibbs! Two months, hey mate, how are you? What's going on? Thanks for the sub, bro. And the mind terrorist as well for two months. Haven't been on Twitch for a while. Decided to visit and resub. 
What a lovely thing for you to do. I, I appreciate it. Cheers, mate. One second. Just gotta help my, uh, my little friend here. Apparently I can't do much. Hi. Oh, Give me that tail. That, this, so this tail didn't drop a tail, Why? though. We seem to have come through unscathed. All right, we're gonna head down there, but we need to, We just need to take a minute first. There's, there's a, a lot going on. Love the cape. Yeah, Mayo gave it to me. Gorgeous, right? The Rift Stone of Noontide. Noontide means female pawns of large stature. The Riftstone of... That's a huge bitch! Yeah. Some pretty big bitches. Big women, let's go, right? Nachos would be in heaven in here, wouldn't you? I love it. Best riff in the game, riff in the game, yeah. Well, well, well. Look at all these sexy bitches. Hmm. You're pretty hot. Fuck yeah. All right. What sort of quests have you got? That's the real question, isn't it? Travel together. Camp. Res uh. Res yeah. Weird, that's the weird one. Feed an ogre, defeat a cyclops. Travel together. I mean, I could travel together with you. Abby. <laughs> Different Abby. Ivy. Ashima. Abby. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is... But not for a Wakestone shard. I don't give a fuck about Wakestone shards, really. For the thick mummy enjoyers, this Riftstone is? I, I there is a thick, thick mummy one as well, right? Or was it thick dudes? I think it was thick dudes. Yeah, you've told me this. Symptoms include I don't need to hear it more than once. And overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. Aged scrag of beast. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yum. Yum 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 yum. Is there a Darius we'll point? Not that I've seen. Rest. I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. I feel like Darius and Weddy both got copies of this game through the same contact that I did. So, you know, they may end up. They may end up with uh, with some pawns. I could see Darius making some sick ass rogue bitch as his character and then making himself as a pawn. You know? <clears throat> Which is pretty cool. Oh, I see you there. Wish I had some throwing items, you know? I need to look into that. I need to be able to throw some daggers or throw, you know, like... Obviously, I can pick up rocks and barrels and stuff, but they're just not always available. Oh, I don't know. I see you there. There goes the tail, and then straighten the bump. There we go. Into the tail hole. That takes care of him. 
Nice. <clears throat> Fucks him right up, mate. Now, that one didn't proc the, uh, the visceral, but that's the strat. You just want to get that tail off and then put a rapier right down it. Surgical. Take a bitch out. Is Weddy going to have a uh, Jesus porn? I, I, I hope so. I haven't heard anything from them since the game came out, but I haven't really spoken to anyone since the game came out. I've kind of just been in a hole. Oh. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm. Quick one. Love it. Is there more? What the fuck? Oh, it's slimes and leeches. Oh no. As you wish, I shall return directly. We can't do slimes right now. Okay, I'm dead. How are you, mate? What's going on? The whole bang the shield to attract their attention thing. I shall see to it this does not happen again. Really hit and miss. Might be time to swap that out with a more offensive ability. Although, if I'm going to try out this two handed warrior shit. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. How to go. Oh shit! Ogre! That's an ogre! Right. This is gonna be a bitch, isn't it? Nice shot. Ow. Uh, how much health have I got? No, oh, no, I'm, I'm all right. I don't know if this is the fight we want to take. Pretty tired. No grief to strike a woman in sight. It is strike. Now is our best chance. Good. You must make haste. Nice shot. The way, like, really well done. Nice. Run, 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 run. Don't get grabbed. She keeps dodging him now. That's great. She wasn't doing it. He was grabbing her all the time last time. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Shit.
Find your bum. You're, st you're still eating her, okay. Aged, any of these fish aged yet? No. We give uh, one of these to Celine. And use one. Good block. Ow. Rock kind of fucked my shield angle on that. Rough. I actually wanted to stab him in the head, but all right. Um. What? Grab me? Agree to disagree. You don't jump off a wall and grab. I feel like I could have knocked him back. On that, maybe? That? Try to... Try to... That? See? Lovely. And then a stab in the face, right? But that, that, and that's like a big hit that he just gets up after that, yeah. That does a lot of damage. Blaine's gonna die. That'll knock him down. Turn. There's, a, there's definitely a way when he does that to knock him over. Ah, that's the grab. How am I supposed to tell the difference between the fucking grab and the fucking punch? I tell ya. Yeah, yeah. Eat a fish, mate. We'll be right. Oh. Fish ain't gonna fix that one up. <clears throat> Drop kick from downtown. <laughs> I'm I'm unconscious. And Celine's dead.
Stamina, stamina. Stamina. All right, we're getting into the good stuff now. Please, please stop. That one. Okay, so don't... Right, yeah. No, no, I see where I fucked up. I see where I fucked up. Hmm. <clears throat> I was unconscious. I had, to get, I had to use the panacea. Oh, that's helping much. Can you get up, mate? The crawling seems to happen after... Um, After unconscious, there's crawling. Right? Wait, okay. Any jump throws me off at all? Crazy. Health's getting low. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh. I can have a spud, mate. Shut the fuck up. Good shot, Celine. Going for me. Not going for me. I love, like, Monster Hunter, you do have to learn the fucking rats. <sighs> that part is great. Okay. Oh, whoa, no, no, no! Oh, no, 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 no! That's some bullshit, is what that is. Now nah, you has to go. You had to go. All right. No thanks. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. <laughs> is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Don't care. The limit of my patience has been reached. I'm out of here! Oh, whoa, 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 that's some briny shit. Are we leaving already? Hmm. Brother, I was just getting warmed up. Hey, can you grab the fucking coin? Dude, I'm just, I'm just hammering B. Just hammering the B key. You getting slimed? Dude, you got slimed. Night rip! I'll turn you into a pincushion! 
You want to do it quick? You getting Brian? Almost. Oh, the slime's got him. No, the slime's got me. It changed target. Oh no. Oh no. And Celine got Brian. Oh God, it's all gone bad. Worse than bad. It's a recession. Oh, please. Please. Hey, I got it's that slime getting kills for me gets, gives me experience. It's amazing. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Rapier is getting some good use. It is, my darling. So is the cloak. Thank you. Also, I found a place where you can buy the shirt you bought me, and it's 155,000 gold, and I just can't imagine that you spent 155,000 gold on a shirt for me. So there must be some other way you procure one. You've given me yours. The only thing that makes sense. Looted. Okay, cool. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. I, I love me too, Mayo, but not that much. You know? That's crazy. You can't make camp without a camping kit. And Celine has your camping kit. No! Things, things are getting rough, guys. I'm drunk as well, apparently. Got a taste for human run. That, that slime, I can't believe it. Oh, the slime was eating him up, though. It's amazing. So many times this game surprises you with what, what's, what's possible. Very exciting. And then in the same minute, it'll do some dumbass fucking jank shit. It makes you take it all back. I believe Vlad would take such gear handouts. Hey, look, a motherfucker wants to send my ass a rapier. I ain't gonna say no, okay? It was a gift given to me upon the return of my pawn, all right? The lean went out. Did good works in the world, and then brought a rapier home. What can I say? Did I have the money to buy my own rapier? Yes. Would I have used the rapier if I didn't? No. That wouldn't be fair. But I did, so I do. Handouts appear to be a part of this experience. I'm going to take anything stupid, but... Yoink. Nah, not today. <laughs> Find the road, follow the road. Let's get home. <clears throat> Payment for a job? Exactly. So that's different, right? That's different. Aging up some nice beef. How's my age beef aging going? Mm, no, all good. No, nothing's aged too much yet. Oh, yeah, exactly, Mayo. And I know you know. We all good. This place feels familiar. Definitely looted here. <laughs> Somewhere Rejoice high up. If I can. Fellow expletives for one of our executioners is returned. Take up arms, warrior. The battle rages. G'day, Yuri. How are you, mate? What the fuck is that? Tier 3, 38 months? You're a legend. Thanks, darling. Hope you're doing good. 
Has anyone been able to play this on an RX 480 or similar? Seven year old hardware. Can you lower the graphics sufficiently much? You can lower the graphics sufficiently much. I wouldn't expect it to do much, is the problem. But you really just don't know till you try. The good thing is... That's bad. That's a bad sound. The good thing is you can, uh... You can buy it. Try it. Spend two hours up to... Just gonna watch. Did you hit it? Got a problem now. Could just run away with that man. Also, not my problem. Ah, take that foul beast! You have been slain this day by Vlad von Kumpstein. Was that you? Your pawn is nowhere to no. be seen, unless... <sighs> yeah, see, I can fuck shit up. I didn't mention it. Yeah, that one was too quick. Uh... Where's that little bug I just got? There it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys want the good news or the bad news? You, can I have, you, you're eating, I'm sorry. I'm nicking it. Bad news, uh, we've been going the wrong way. For some time now. news is we stick to this road <laughs> is that sound the good news just gotta stay quiet oh good guy we just gotta stay quiet right you know me I'm a master of stealth hey you got a fucking uh, camping pack. You have a good. Can I have that? I've got wares of every ilk. Oh, you got wares? Wares? Right, so you were stretching the definition of every ilk a smidge. I see. A whisper. I love that you can sell your quest items and stuff as well. You. Uh, I was hoping you'd sell a piece of shit backpack or one of these camps and just have one sitting there. Sometimes they just do, you know? Nope. Those days are over. Alright. So follow this road and don't turn off of it, is the general gist.
How did I get so turned around? Oh good, I'm still getting invasions in Lord of the Fallen. Hey, nice! I never got to do many of the invasions in that one. I never got invaded. Hey, old wanderer! Yeah, ain't got none of that either, Lamer. At my local grocery store. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I mean to combine that. Make a few pots. Yeah, that's what we needed. Oh, I know where this is. Luckily. A bit of blood splatter on the screen, isn't there? Must be the near death situation. I feel like I'm regenerating health slowly though. Right, right. We'll never know. Oh, the sun's coming up. Sarkays and things for 10 months, man. What's going on, dude? Think this in real quick. Cheers, baby. Thank you, thank you. Those items that are behind a paywall are hard to come by in game. Oh. It's complicated, you know? I'm asking, yeah, 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 I, 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 I don't know. Um, like, like some of it's, there's a lot of items behind a paywall, you know? I'm playing it, Steam. I'm playing it through the application that you're on right now. Given that I'm playing it through this application, Steam, you'd probably be able to guess that I'm allowed to look at the page without an age verification check, right? Maybe because I'm playing it, because I own it and I'm playing it and I bought it through you. So, for example... This is a explorer's camping kit. Now there are a lot of different types of camping kits and I don't know where you get an explorer's from. I certainly haven't found one in my 20 hours. I've found several different types, none of them explorers. And the explorer's one is special because it is efficient without being unduly weighty. All of the others weigh 7 kilos, which is something like 25% of your inventory space, depending on your class. It's kind of an easy mode. Uh, convenience. Right? Here's the kicker.
This is where I'm sort of stuck at at the moment. This one weighs about 5.7. Now those are about 7, so it's really negligible. It unlocks it in the game. Yeah, well, by, by this definition, right, you cannot get this item unless you buy it, right? Unless you can find it in the game. Maybe you can find one in the game. I found some pretty similar kits. Fair enough. You found that one. So, you're paying $4.50, so it's probably $3 US, give or take, for an item, and then to allow that item to be purchasable. I mean, yeah, you're right. I wonder, I'd, I'd love to see this, like, the sales numbers on these things, you know? Actually fucking get anything for this shit? Camp kit spoilers since relevant uh, to discussion? Yep, yeah, sure. I don't remember their names. No, that doesn't matter. Really. The question was simple. Either you know that you've got that one, or you don't. I'm not interested in whether or not there are other ones of equal value or whatever. I was just trying to, to refute the statement that everything... Oh. That everything that you can buy on the store can be found in-game. Unless you can find a way to make the Explorer's Kit purchasable in-game, then that statement is simply just not true. It might be semantically untrue, rather than mechanically, but it is untrue. So is that the only item like that? The others I have seen in-game from the Deluxe version? No. No, there's um, a whole fucking list. Explorer's Camping Kit. Uh, custom Sounds. Harpy Lua item? That's an item you can buy at the store. Just any store, basically. You can get these very early, but if you want three of them, you can pay $1.50. I don't even know why the fuck you'd want one. Um, maybe there are quests to farm their feathers or some shit, I don't know. A heartfelt pendant, which is just one of the gifts that you give to people in-game. Uh, Rift incense, which changes your pawn's attitudes. It's like a custom, um, uh, uh, change, change your character item sort of thing. Uh, jail, I bought one of these jail keys. Escape from jail. Ah, so if you get put in jail, the key is what lets you get out? Uh, I bought one of them. Not for dollar fifty. I bought it in game for a thousand. Uh, port crystal is a warp location marker. This is another interesting one that might be a bit different. Hey, Ashley, how are you? So I've, I'm, I'm about to use a port crystal for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. They're permanent fixtures of cities and towns. But you may also place your own at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 placed at very lo various locations throughout the world at any one time. Once placed, it can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available at fairy stone destinations. Presumably you can buy you can find these in the game or you can buy them for four dollars fifty. How many can you find in the game? I don't know. Can you get ten? Or are they super fucking rare and you really want to buy them? Nice. 
So this is the fast travel system. But what, that's not in the game. <laughs> Although you have to buy. You have to pay for fast travel. That's certainly something I heard. That doesn't seem true. Hey, there's the barber. That's another that's another big one on the uh on the list of MTX stuff. Welcome, should you so desire. I can help you find oh. your truest self. Bitch. I did you just ask me for ten thousand gold for a haircut? Hope to see you again. Oh, you're at your own fucking window, you dirty maggot. As if you fucking think you can fucking... How dare you. How dare you, madam. There's a Brian with you. 10,000 gold for a haircut. That's nice. I can certainly see how you get put in jail now. Makes sense. Ah, the Riftstone. Fantastic. Must be those city prices. <laughs> Must be those city prices. You're not worth that. Way. No, no, no haircut is worth ten thousand gold. So, not, in, not in this. I'm ashamed to have fallen so short. Strange. rate. Oh, you fell in the brine. Just relax. Now. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Oh-ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Nice! Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. I'm just going to call it an arch staff if you don't mind, because archer staff sounds awkward. You may now change you do your location you. as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. It would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Groovy. Nice. That was a have great quest. The guild, sir. And I seven and a half grand, apparently. You can buy a great, it's a great sword with that? All right. Uh, change vocation to warrior. The warrior. Warriors are at their best when fighting at the vanguard, cutting down foes with a single swing of their greatsword and charging through the enemy ranks without heeding their blows. Their attacks cleave a wide and devastating arc, but their movements are slow, and stout as they are, they cannot withstand an onslaught indefinitely well, now, without aid. He has an old Nearly enough for a haircut, Sean! <laughs> almost as old as me. <laughs> is it called jail and not jail? They do that where I live as well. The Melbourne jail is spelled G-A-O-L, so I'm, I, I grew up with it that way. The weed monkey, thanks for 63 months, you sick cunt. What's going on? How fares your traversal of the land? His Majesty, pray, ought I near? Think myself, using ye olden lead speak. Beautifully said. Love it. Cheers, mate. Uh, it goes well. Very well. I like how they separate the two in case you only found one. Super, super amazing attention to detail. Big fan of that. How much gold you get for completing a quest? That one, seven and a half thousand gold, which is almost enough to get a haircut. And to think I live in a world where I need to go fucking 10 kilometers down the road and kill a hundred goblins, an ogre, and a bunch of fucking ghosts to recover a sword and a staff that have been hidden away deep down in a dark fucking cave, and bring it all the way back so that I can almost get a haircut. Something wrong. Something wrong. I'm going to be writing some nasty emails to the developers. Just, just you wait. Some Red Dead Redemption 2 shit. Hold down X 
before unleashing, uh, unleashing an attack to charge up your strength, changing the attack to a charge slash and dealing greater damage. A warrior need not fear the enemy's blows while charging up their strength, as they have increased resistances and are likely to flinch for the duration. Interesting. Interesting. Right bumper to barge. What it lacks in power, it makes up for in swiftness. It can be used as a follow-up attack after a strike with the greatsword. A warrior should barge their enemies without fear, as they have increased resistances and are less likely to flinch for the duration, giving them ample opportunity to counter. When you land an attack using Y, it will change to a powerful successive strike if the target is downed or knocked off balance, or the target is not expecting the attack. I know how that works. Cool. Wow. So naturally, I need different gear now. Now, obviously, I'm going to be keeping my rapier and my and my, my lovely fighter gear, and hopefully going back to it at some point soon. But I do absolutely. What is this? Tribal brace. Oh, that, oh, that is the gear. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Groovy. I I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah. All right. So every now and then, Vlad puts the rapier down and gets his hands fucking dirty, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? <clears throat> and our lovely Lanfear is now the sorcerer bitch that she was always meant to be. Sorcerers wield archer staves to incant a wide range of powerful spells. Their magical onslaught can turn the tide of battle in an instant, dealing damage over a wide area, inflicting multiple enemies with the uh, de debilitations. Encanting spells takes time, however, and must be done from a position of safety, lest the caster be left vulnerable. Galvanize. Hold Y to galvanize and rapidly recover stamina. Encanting. Whatever. Changing targets. Whatever. Auxiliary encanting. Okay, this seems like an interesting little uh, session, section. Okay, uh, we need to take that off. What is this? Doesn't look cool. Uh, I bought you some Savant's boots, right? They're the good stuff, yeah? The Ranger's tights. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you've already put the Savant's boots on because you had them in your inventory, I presume? That's nice. Yeah, way cooler looking. Right, right. Oh, I can kind of see your gash hanging through too. I'm okay with that. Yeah, just like like a doctor's gown, right? Except instead of a bit of bum hanging out, you got a bit of gash hanging out. I think that's just. I think that's just. It's very sexy. Okay, I have not gone for a cup of tea, and it's been three and a half hours. And I said I was gonna. Uh, very like I'm just gonna go jut log in and go to town, and then I'm gonna grab a cup of tea. That was three and a half hours ago. So I'm just gonna stop right here before we get crazy on me customizing our two new classes. I'm very excited to see Celine finally become <clears throat> the Forsaken that she was always meant to be, and to give Vlad a little more uh, primal nature before we become our regal selves. Uh, not to mention, we get to experiment with new classes, new gear, and uh, just, just generally speaking, a lot of new fun. I'm very interested in how classes merge together and things like that as well, so all very exciting. Game must be good. For three and a half hours to vanish uh, before I go and get a cup of tea, yeah, the game must be great. The game just stole two cool boss fights from me because the AI decided to wade in ankle-deep water and get eaten by the brine. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the jankiest motherfuckers I ever played. Buckle up. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to put some tunes on. Uh, yes. 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 Cool. Oh. My Unity engine crashed. One moment, please. Wow, Chen, that's crazy. Oh, Google has a new look. 
Fantastic. Nobody cares, Google. That's better. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you're having a good, uh, good Sunday. I'll be back in a minute. Thanks for watching.
That was a pretty good one. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. How you doing? Hey, Blue. What's going on, dude? Good to see you. Man, I'm good, man. Good. Just cruising. Fucking take a shirt. You know it, bro. You know it. Oh, man. <clears throat> it is that kind of weekend, huh? Yeah, I, I kind of let it go, nachos. But yeah, I, I probably should have made a bit of, bigger thing out of it. Because if you don't, then you get this, don't you? Yeah. Ah, yes. The smell of proper devotion. Is it of Shanton? Welcome back, old friend. We've missed you. G'day, Wordy. How you going, man? <sighs> Thanks for 41 months, dude. Cheers. I, I saw the spoiler. I had I, I didn't see the, uh, the execution. Uh, okay, I, I think Holt may have got it, but uh, Lord Ostrich also went for it, so I guess we'll just see what happens, eh? Let's, ch let's throw it up on the board. <laughs> I presume someone was being funny before. <clears throat> uh, it looks like uh, Holt Undead absolutely went for it first, then Vile went for it, then Ostrich went for it. So I believe it should go to Holt. Who got in earliest? And, um. Yeah, there's a. Oh, I see. Yeah, there was another. Right, yeah. Um. Actually, an interesting one. Oh, you gotta throw it down again, mate. Uh. Now, I mean, now, now that I've seen the spoiler, I think they're talking about the port gates. You can place ten different gates around the world, but apparently you can only get five of them in game, which would imply that you have to buy the other five. And if that's the truth, then again, that's five things that you can't get in the game. Same bloke, yeah. I think the reason he went up for the chop is because he said a Cyclops attacked the town yesterday was the coolest shit, which I get it. There's a little bit of enthusiasm there and excitement sharing stories, uh, which were relevant. But also telling you that a Cyclops can attack the town so that when I see it, if I see it, it's nowhere near as awesome because now I'm aware of it. So I don't know. Has the motherfucker learned their lesson? Will they do it again? Does that matter? That's up to you. Live or die. Make your choice. Chat has absolutely agreed that you must die. Indeed. <clears throat> A clean chop. Beautifully done. Ooh, I remember you. 
Back for more, are we? Good. Hey, Joe. Thanks for the sub, man. 18 months. Cheers. Getting my voting rights. Good on you, dude. Enjoy your vote in the next execution. Yeah, yeah, the doubling, the doubling down is what, what did it for a lot of people, I think. It was the, how dare I share an experience in a game. Uh, I mean, I, I see his point, you know, just, just sharing a fun story. But um, the sharing of that fun story has now made it a thing that you know that can happen. Well, now, and knowing a thing can happen old one. changes everything. Almost as old as me. <laughs> Can't pretend like that if, if that does happen to any of us, we won't have a different reaction now that we've heard about it, right? There's a time for sharing those kinds of stories, and I just feel like it's a little early to just be throwing them out. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, Dark Shadows for 119 months. Whoa, this game's absolutely fantastic. I shouldn't be allowed. Single-player RPGs uh, hurt my hands from too many hours of gaming. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I will say, good on the court. Weren't influenced by your pity. They were killing regardless. Hey, everybody makes their own fucking decisions. This ain't no fucking echo chamber, although it's been accused of being one before. People here make their own decisions and stand by it. Gotta love it. Sorry, Harry. Yeah, a few people went for it, but uh, Holt Undead was uh, was the fastest fucking finger on the trigger and uh, grabbed another kill. Our, our fastest growing executioner, by the way, Holt Undead. <clears throat> More notches on his belt than some kinds have got in a year. Good to see. Okay, so our sorcerer and our warrior. Wonderful. Let's try out some new shit. So, uh, weapon skills. We do have to buy these, but they're all so cheap. We've got 10,000 DCP, so I think we'll be fine. What I want to know, first of all, is augments. What's metal? Augment your physical defense. Now... <clears throat> The augments from my fighter did not carry over to this one, and I thought they might for some class blending. Reduces damage taken when charging. Fine. Weapon skill. Rending sweep. Is a spin? Actually, I might put that... Uh, yeah. And Bello shouts to draw the attention. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. That should definitely be uh on there. Yeah, okay, cool. That's fun. All right, so we have Skywards. Oh, that that one is gonna go there then. Yeah, and then that one's gonna go there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. The success of not enjoy said dad jokes. Well, I'm not the target audience, am I? I'm a dad. I make the dad jokes. But I make them for the children. The young children. The idea being that they're young, they have unformed brains, and very simple, basic humour is, uh, is appealing to them. Why would, why would I, as a dad, be interested in them? I have a fully functioning brain. I like good humour. You know, jokes. Well-formed. Comedy. Why do I want dad jokes? But no, typically I don't like dad jokes. Do you like dad jokes? I also like dad jokes, but I also have basic brain function. Well, there you go. As long as you, as long as you know, it's okay to be a simple bitch. Just be aware of it, you know. And don't go around assuming that people are simple bitches. You know, walk up to some motherfucker and just assume that they're a simple bitch. They're going to get slapped in the face. As well, you should, right? <clears throat> Got to read the room. Dad jokes tend to be puns. Puns are the highest form of comedy because they require a high grasp of the language. Yeah, sure. Yeah. My seven-year-old is making puns now. High grasp of the language. Do you work for the uh, education system? By any chance? You sound like someone that would work for our current education system. I like to torture Fizzy with dad jokes. Well, torture's fine. A from dad, not for dad. Exactly, Roge. Yeah, people are just weird, aren't they? Simpletons. 
My one claim to fame is that being a simple bitch, good, cool. Again, I, no judgment. You know, I'm not harsh on you, Buzz. Somebody was somebody was weirdly curious about whether or not I liked them. Like they just assumed once they looked at me that I was a simple bitch and that I would like them. And that's kind of offensive, isn't it? I'm offended. <sighs> Get to know someone before you think that they're going to like the most basic humor on the planet. Specifically designed by parents for their young children to wean them on comedy. <clears throat> Go get yourself some George Carlin or some Bill Hicks or something. Get a good joke in you. <laughs> so I was sitting in the Waffle House and the reading a book. And the Waffle waitress comes up to me and she says, What you reading for? And I said to her, Well, shit. Fuck, I don't know. I've never been asked that question before. I get asked, what are you reading? But never, what are you reading for? I guess, um, perhaps so I don't end up a fucking waffle waitress? Now that's some fucking humor, right? That's some funny shit. Even poorly told by a fucking shit cunt like me, that's some classic Bill Hicks, okay? You, uh, you listen to a joke like that, and you know you're listening to some good humor. That's some funny ass shit. Good setup, good delivery, you know, it's got all it's got all the right elements. And I can't imagine my seven year old would get it. They just don't have the context. But if you actually do have the context and the brain of an adult, and you willfully ignore everything that you are and everything that you've learned and everything that you've become to specifically appreciate basic bitch puns and stuff, ha ha ha, humor. Well, I got no fucking time for you, and you're a simple cunt. Fuck off. <sighs> At the very least, don't fucking assume my level of humor uh, and uh, and intellect. Good God, good God, man. <clears throat> I'm partial to Mitch Hedgeberg. I bet you are. Rice is great when you're hungry and want to eat two thousand of something. Yeah. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying Mitch Hedgeberg's my uh, Mitch Hedgeberg's my favorite. Uh, I like the longer setup uh, delivery stuff, the Dave Chappelle stuff. Uh, bam! Right in the pussy. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you ever laughed at someone farting? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. Me farting in my kid's face all the time, and of course the occasional him farting in mine. <clears throat> when you're like passed out, your glasses are half hanging off in the bed, and they just come up and put their ass right on your face, and then just rip, and you're just like, <laughs> <sighs> Well done, son. Well done. That was good. <clears throat> Respect. <clears throat> you're a reader. <laughs> we got ourselves a reader. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I love, love Dave uh, Chappelle's show. I like Bill Burr's stand-up. Uh, his filmography has given me a completely different opinion of who he is and the kinds of jokes that he makes. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I can't. I, I, I don't like his movies and I don't like his acting, but um, but I definitely like uh, I definitely like uh, his his work uh, as as a stand-up comedian. Not my favorite, but he's funny. I saw someone get offended because a popular VTuber made a fat toggle yesterday. Reason being they had some medical condition that made them gain weight, which fair enough sucks to be them, but nothing they said implied the popular VTuber made fun of their condition. Yeah, no. Of course, that's the, the age-old offensive Stephen Fry. So you're offended. So what? <clears throat> you either You either care about offending other people with everything that you say, and as a result, be very, very careful not to offend anyone ever, and are very, very boring, or... You assume that people are big enough to know the difference between when they're being insulted specifically, when there is intent, when the context supports what's happening, and when they, something is being general and has nothing to do with them, even though there might be similarities. 
Usually I find those people are just looking to be upset by something though, and that's pretty much how they spend their days, just attempting to find ways to be outraged. Eh, who gives a fuck? What can they do to you? Nothing. Time to fuck off and move on with your day. <clears throat> Press the assigned button to begin encanting. Press it again. Oh, you know what? I don't really need to know, do I? I just need to make sure that you've uh, got it equipped. All skills, bursting bolt. What does that do? Stores up magic. Okay, yeah. Just a, just a normal one. And no augments. Okay, cool, cool, excellent, great. Well, now. He is an old one. Have you found any of the items? Well, as discussed? old as me. <laughs> Ill marriage! 96 months, 8 year anniversary. Thanks, mate. How you going, dude? Good to see you. What's cracking? That's a huge one. Happy fucking anniversary. I hope you're well. Thank you. Bloody Jesus. Being offended is a choice, one which you don't have to make. Yeah, yeah. Different iterations of the same same concept. <clears throat> because the sin of pi is zero? Wouldn't it be the sum of pi? I don't think that joke works. I've updated the look of my porn, uh, hopefully to your liking. I'll, I'll make sure I check them out. Oh, the sign of pie. Ah, I see. Sign function. Right, but it's... It, <clears throat> different word. Like, you want that joke to work, so you will it into existence, but it doesn't because it's sin and sign are different words, right? It's unfortunate, but... It's just not how it works. I, I, got, I must have more of these in storage. Always a pleasure. Alright. <clears throat> wow. Let's just take a moment to drink in the gorgeousness. Celine already looking way better. Yes. <clears throat> Vlad is in his impaler uh, phase at the moment. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some interest. Welcome to pure and quality is what you need if you mm. want to survive. I've got 21 grand. Do I want to buy things for this new class before I've even tried it out? It's, uh,. Bit risky. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for an execution. I guess. It's my first week working at the bicycle factory. They already made me a spokesperson. You know that? Completely fucked. And I hate you. I'm nothing but contempt for all of you. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. That deserves to die. <clears throat> Maybe the only person that's ever deserved to die in an execution in this channel. And you fucking let him live. You're, you all have problems. Rejoice, fellow expletives.
for one of our executioners is returned. Take up arms, Dave. The battle. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Thanks for 102 months, man, and a big fat tier three as well. You absolute legend. What's going on, dude? <clears throat> oh, it's going good, man. Look, Vlad. Look at Vlad. Look at Vlad. How could it be going anything other than amazing? Uh, you can actually wear these now, right? And I guess I could probably wear them. What? Wait, can you wear them? I don't. I actually don't know if you can. No, you can. Hmm. They kind of look better. Uh, this robe or Celine would be pretty nice, I think. The sorcerer only robe, yeah. It looks pretty fucking good. I don't know if I like it as much as the magician's coat, because the magician's coat has the gash. But um, <clears throat> but I think we should spend eleven thousand eight hundred on that. I think that's the right call. And then um, as for us, yeah, guardian. Whoa. So the, the surcoat can be worn by a fighter and another class that I haven't unlocked yet. That's exciting. But if I want to, uh, I want to get Vlad in Palin. <laughs> Someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Turns out I don't have enough money for both of us. And I'm more important. Opiate! Gifting a sub to David's. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Welcome, Dave. Cheers. Okay, so Guardian Plate Armor is, uh, is, is necessary, I think, if we're going to go down this path. And I think we're going to go down this path for a bit anyway. I quite, I quite like the, uh, the, the, the chest showing situation thing. Like, it's such a fucking vibe. What an absolute chad. Why is a haircut a similar price to a piece of armor? These are the real questions that the developers are going to answer for. When they meet me in hell. Just you wait. Metal plating over the knees. I think given how much damage I, I'm looking to take with this class, this is going to be a very good purchase for oh, me. Yeah. So before you check the price, hope to see you again. Mm, thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Chonkiness, ladies and gentlemen. Pure chonkiness. All right. We're doing it. Are you in the market for something in particular? This is Vlad's... Impaler arc, okay? You don't sell any two hand. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. That's what I'm talking Oh my god, it's 15 grand though. Grievous horns. Okay, holy shit. Holy motherfucking shit. <clears throat> that sword looks fucking awesome. How do I get 15 grand? Do come again. This is a great character. This is a great character. I agree. It's a nice vibe, right? Let's just have a look. Let's just have a quick peek up here. The sword actually taller than you? I think it might be. It's Golden Age arc. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospital. So the chain mail could pro. Oh. I think there are three classes in this game that I haven't unlocked. I think that just, just that tells you how many classes there are. That makes sense. I hadn't really thought about that. Okay. 
It doesn't look like there's as much cross-pollination between classes as I expected as well, so that could be a bit of a... bit of a downer. Stilettos, fluted bow... I don't know how much money I'd get for these things. Uh, Selene, what have you got on you? Fatality in all Vernworth. Deposit. The lupine bow. The scale band. Oh, magic defense goes up. Defense goes up. Rehabilitation, resistance, knockdown resistance. It says it improves the wearer's uh, concentration, but not really, I don't know. Deepwood jacket, pilgrim's tights. Woodland boots, ranger's tights. Someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Rage harder! What the fuck, man? How you going? Uh, thanks for gifting a sub to Agarthan. Cheers, dude. Take my money. I'll fucking take it. Cheers, brother. Thank you very much. Is there a storage chest for excess weapons? Ask and you shall receive. So we're keeping the Grand Circoat. I don't need it on me right now. Uh, we can sell the Brace. We can sell the Traveler's Gaiters. Uh, I feel like the... Yeah, the, these are better than these. Simply because I upgraded them. I'm going to keep those for when we switch back as well. Someone sell that. new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. And another one. I'll fucking take more of your money. Fucking let's go. Fine, you greedy bastard. Take more. Uh, gladly. Thank you, sir. Welcome back, Metaflow. For five months. Cheers, mate. Now. Oh. <laughs> Someone has accepted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Now you're just taking the piss. <sighs> Thanks, man. Fucking hell. Throwing out five packs as well. I hope you're enjoying the show, man. I really do. I hope you're having a great fucking weekend. Um, and welcome. The Rage of 1000 Babies and Co. Uh, to the expletives. Cheers. <laughs> I caught that one too, Sharia. <laughs> Unreal. I'm going to try and do something with them. I mean, one thing at a time. Much obliged. What the fuck do these books do? Invoke sp the spell. I thought they teach you spells. They don't, do they? You use them, and it casts the spell. That makes more sense. Things are coming to me, slowly. Okay, uh, now. Put all this shit away. Probably sell it all, actually. New voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Sun Saiyan. Thanks for gifting us up to Suicide Run, you sick cunt. Cheers, mate. I'll keep that one. Uh, <clears throat> I love your stream, and this game is the tits. Fucking oath, man. Fucking oath. I hope, uh, I hope I do it good justice as a viewing experience for you. I hope, uh, hope you're enjoying it. Thanks, cunt. Throw the rotten shit away. Aged a oh, couple, couple, couple nice age there. I should probably turn that into some dehydrated meat before it goes off. Uh, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Nice, nice, nice. Saria gives us up to nub with a gun. Fuck you both. Jumping in the action. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. It's like a hype train, except not for wankers who need fucking hype trains to incentivize more and more people to spend more money at one time. Just for cool people that are like, fuck yeah, I'll throw some cash down. Why the fuck not? Thank you very much. Hospitality much appreciated. Very poetic and outstanding name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. I'm into it. Now, is there anything else I'd want to sell? I feel like this lupine cape I can sell. And the prowler kerchief I can sell. I might keep the cloaks. 
I like those cloaks. You never know when you might want, to, want, want, to, want a different kind of cloak. We're going to sell the ranger's thighs, the woodland boots, the pilgrim's tights, the deepwood jacket, the chain mail, the scale band, both of the bows, the stilettos. Ah, uh, I mean, am I ever going to get this quest done? Am I ever going to find this place that needs these? I don't know. But if I do, I'll be pretty happy to, uh, to, to, to have these swords sitting there. So I'll sell the iron one and keep those. Uh, these lovely gems. I mean, I could probably sell them for some decent cash right now. But I'm thinking if I did that, I'd be really upset. I'm going to try and sell all the mage books. Because they're just the sort of thing I don't think I'm going to use. Well, We're going to sell now. all the camping kits. He is an old one. Almost as old as me. <laughs> Much obliged. Oh, I'm a heavy boy now. But I'm built big. Rio. Hey. Happy country, I've my friend. Interesting tidings about town. A full fucking lap, baby. One hundred motherfucking months. Cheers, my friend. Thank you. Been a pleasure. And if you left tomorrow and never thought of me again, I'd understand completely. Because goddamn, you've been putting some cash into this shit. But need anything? If you're up for another hundred, so am I. Just saying. Good brother. Now what can I sell? The Prowler Kachief's worth a grand. The Lupine Cape's worth twelve fifty. The Ranger's tights are worth three. Now, or, or, or already we're doing all right here. How much is my fucking two-handed sword worth? Stop by again soon. Just a tick. Need anything? You sell fairy stones for ten grand a pop, fuck you now. You sell pots too. I might, I might need to spend some of my my leftovers on that. Uh, how much is that? Oh, it's only 540. It looks like I'm going to get my 10 grand, so that's fine. The stilettos are worth 1770, so that, that, that was a really nice find in that cave. Uh, three of those. Ice spoon enchants weapons with ice. Huh. I don't want lightning spells. I don't want life spells. Although now, now that I'm thinking about it, all those all those enemies I couldn't kill before, the ghostly enemies, I had ways to kill them. High salamander, a fire spell, silencing spell. I hear, I, you know what? I might keep. I might keep those. <clears throat> you never know. Don't need them. Don't need that. Chainmail. That scale band is worth 2,000? Eh. Nice. Stop by again soon. Almost down to lightweight, even with the heavy armor. That's amazing. Oh, it's because I don't have my sword. <laughs> Let's say, how do I get so light? There it is. The vor blade. You'll be Quip it indeed. Do come again. Oh my fucking god, yes. Look at it! Vlad the Executioner has arrived. Just forget that it floats on my back. Might as well take a look while you're here. Might as well take a look. I would uh, like to take a look. I'd like to buy all eight of those. Things. While you're here, eh?
And the rest is good. Many thanks. Many thanks indeed. Now, uh, how are we all looking here? You've got everything you need. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I could probably buy that. Well, if I squeezed a bit more cash out, I could buy you some new robes. But I think let's just get used to those robes for a minute. Right. Next. We have plans. Do we have goals? Do we have things to do? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, you will soon forget the fatigue well of a long journey. When Deposit, uh, eight of those. Cool. Treated to the foremost. Much obliged. Keep, keep a couple things on me. You know, you never know. Uh, quest. I have a quest log. <laughs> this motherfucker. Yeah. One one day we'll find you. Uh. Visit the Star Drop Inn, a night, and confer with Captain Brandt. When they say a night, I get the feeling they mean at night. That's the vibe I got. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to come again. Got a weapon, not a sword, but a massive jewel side blade tipped with a hammer spike on each side, right? This will be a fun new arc for us, I think, as we venture forward with uh, our journey to procure more vocations and find the right vibe. For our boy Vlad. We can always switch back to fighter whenever we want to. And I've got a good set of gear. Well upgraded and in comfortable position. Speaking of. Now that I think about it. I'm a little low on cash. But not that Welcome to quality. Hey, I'm mate. 770. Easy. Upgrade. Scrap iron, don't need it. Upgrade. Monster fa Oh, four grand though. Pretty rough, but fuck it. We're in for a penny, in for a pound. How's the plate looking? We can we can go with the plate. Yeah, looks good. Sure. And that's probably bankrupt me. It has. Survive. Okay. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Just making sure. <clears throat> Just doing my part. Cool. So we cleaned out the inventory and uh, and completely changed all of our gear. And all of our class at Taboo. What else is money good for, right? Spend it experimenting. Figuring shit out. Learning shit. Feeling shit out. That's, that's the good stuff. You switched to Warrior. I did. Yeah, yeah. For now. For now. Keep things, keep things interesting. It's the kind of game that wants you to experiment. So, experiment we shall. Now... Could I fucking have a wander around the town? I feel like we're going up to the castle now, and that's probably a bad idea. Have you happened to give a certain satisfaction? Yeah? Oh. Masquerades are regularly held in Vernworth Castle's Masquerade Hall and may afford you an opportunity to make the acquaintance of important individuals. However, masquerades are formal occasions, and you will only be permitted to attend if you are wearing suitable attire. How long you'll be? Huh. I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Oh, I've got just the just the gear for that, don't I? Just a simple one.
Just a real chill one. <clears throat> Dude. That fucking griffin's just flying around, mate. Oh, you can totally hit one of those with a baluster, can't you? Oh, man. Oh, man. Just fucking cruising, though. Ain't that some shit? What a breathtaking... Right. It's not part of the background, either. That's just... That's an enemy that's in the game right now. That's doing that right now. And if I were there right now, I could look up and fucking shoot it, you know? Theoretically. That's cool. I get the feeling that this game takes place a long time in the future of the first of the first game. Like this feels like Grand Grand Sorin, but so much time has passed that a new civilization has come up around it and has a new name and a new place. But the the roots of the original uh, original join are still here or something. I wonder if Bitter Black Isle's still here. Is that? That place was something. No more shield drop, I gotta get used to that. <clears throat> this game's really one of the special ones? It could be, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I need to see more. It's, it, it's a fucking jank mess at times as well. For every moment of beauty, there's an unforgivable shit. Like, the quality of the AI is just beyond me. Performance issues they'll fix, but the AI being just as dumb as dog shit is uh, <clears throat> is not something I think... I, like, running into walls constantly and shit. Not doing what it's supposed to do. I, I don't know if that's ever going to... Why do I get the feeling I'm not supposed to be in there? We shall wait here till your business is done. Hmm. I feel like I've gone and snuck in to a place I'm not supposed to be in or something. That sounds like me. Accidental espionage. Think you'd ever get to a 60 FPS performance mode on console? I don't know. It doesn't have any mode on console at all currently, does it? It's just uncapped. Best you can get. I don't know what their goal was. Seems to me like the developer and the publisher have a lot of different opinions and don't communicate very well. That's the vibe that I get. Stunning, though. Just stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous game. I don't have a PC. I'm going to wait. Uh, hopefully wait, get a better experience. Well, yeah, yeah, I imagine. When you, uh, <clears throat> when you get a nice PC someday in the future, and you're like, man, I need a game to test out and <clears throat> see, see, see if it's, if it's everything, I, everything I paid for and more, I bet you this game will come up on the list with maybe Cyberpunk and a few others. <clears throat> That'd be my bet. For sure. Alright. Unless you count a PS6, assuming it's backwards compatible. Yeah, sure. They're going to release the PS6 <clears throat> and only PS6 games on it. 
what would that be in this world? How many PS5 games are there? <laughs> it'll have to be. It'll have to be backwards compatible. Same as this shit. Well, the PS5, sorry. I don't know, Grumpy. I didn't know, even know there were multiple endings. Like the ending I got of the first one was something like I became a god. Or god. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? There's a lot of pretty crazy... Crazy, uh... <clears throat> changes that came out of that. Oh, it's time! Oh, just off with their head, huh? Oh. oh! Sit down, son! Oh, you're asking me. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Over so soon? Why? I feel like you just you just want to leave the sword out, unsheathed with this class, right? <laughs> this is the unsheathed look. This is the sheathed look. <laughs> I got a 480. I've gone back to Cyberpunk for 4K 60 FPS with mostly max settings, and it's glorious. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Why 60? You got a 4080? You're running it at 60? I feel like you should be able to squeeze a bit more than that out of it, huh? Oh, then again, you're at 4K, yeah. I don't know, I'd go 2K 120 over 4K 60 personally. I suppose I mention this as well. I worry for our strength without a fighter among our number. Whatever floats your boat. Hey! I'll save you, damsel! That. Need to remember, don't have a shield to break my fall anymore. <laughs> what an unceremonious end. The you saw nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, right, so what buttons have I got? I had to click that sort of thing. Thanks, mate. Large piece. So fucking heavy that <laughs> any fall damage is just fucking <laughs> clapping me. <sighs> well, I'm glad we spent 30 grand setting up this new class because I hate it. <laughs> oh. right, we're, are here we're just gonna we're just gonna get used to it dealing with harp. I have not had a problem with a single harpy in this game up until this moment. Okay, harpies were fine until now. 
What's this one? Roll. Okay. Whoa. This boat will recoil from flight. That good. Bit delayed. Over so soon. That rebound. Oh, we seem to have come through unscathed. I got rebound. Okay, so some kind of roar and then a chargey spin. A chargey uppercut. Quick charge. One spin. No jump. Cool. Very uh, Dark Souls meets Monster Hunter, I think. And then... Um, RB is a shoulder, like a, a, a shoulder check, I think they call it. And then I can also just charge my normal attack. And keep going with that shit. Okay. The shoulder check, I think, is going to be really, really valuable in this situation. Let's go practice. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the roll as they say. Interesting. Devin likes Selene as a sorceress. That's <clears throat> that's uh that's her vibe. Vlad's impaler arc is uh leaving room for room for imagination. That's okay. Oh, do I need to? I've got some age. I got I got quite a few. I should combine these. Make dried meats. I should combine these. To make exquisite dried meats. Uh, and I should eat the. I, I can make one of those, and then I can eat one of those as well. Nice. Well, I just don't want it to go off. You know, you gotta be, you got, you gotta, you gotta dr dry. If you're not gonna eat it, dry it out. You know. And I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Obviously, the best time to use it is at a camp, but <clears throat> there's a, there's a, like a little cycle in this game of using the right materials at the right time to get the best, the best efficiencies, which feels really cool. Okay. Not having like a dodge or something is really odd. Like I just feel so fixed in place. Ooh, vocation rank now. Yay, we're leveling up already. That's why we're practicing with our bits, huh? Oh, there's that campsite I was looking for. <laughs> Don't have any fucking food now. We'll have to have uh, just a, just a plain scrags fine, I guess. Not aged properly. Still, still juicy. All right. What vocation? I've switched to a warrior. Stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. I'm gonna go back in town. Throwing shit at you? No, it's throwing rocks and potions at me. Usually. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, let's go. I was gonna try and shoot a griffin down, but let's, let's head back to town. Let's uh, let's get this this quest done. We've got to go there at night, so this works out well. Like there, there are several buffs. I, I I'm missing one because I yeah okay so more strength, more defense, more stamina, and if you eat the best kind of meat, you get one other thing as well. I right, focus. Got to focus on these on these little details. I think they'll make a difference. Now, where, oh, where could that little bridge be? Oh. Yeah, it seems to be unique for each one. Oh, here we go. Fuck your tails, right? Oh. I, I can't just be... Time wasn't bad. You're doing alright as a mage. Okay, so there's some kind... Ectoplasms. There's the bridge. There's some kind of weird shit going on. Have you forgotten something arisen? Like, I have to tank these hits. Right? rather lost <laughs> to battle already Not much of a reprieve So it's like a like a patience thing. A lot of timing and a lot of patience, I think. Anyone, anyone who played the uh, the heavy great swords in uh, Monster Hunter would probably feel right at home with this kind of this kind of playstyle. Less so like a, a Dark Souls one, I think. Nice. The shoulder tech's huge. Like in Dark Souls 3, using a big two-hander, it, it, it was it was usually fairly smooth. But with, with Monster Hunter, it was more like, you're, this is going to take a long fucking time to get used to, and when you get used to it, it's going to feel like you're playing your own special little video game. And that's how I feel like this, this is going to be. All, like the entire flow of battle and your approach to everything changes going to be a lot to do with those shoulder checks as well. And I, did it say there was some kind of... No. Some kind of running charge. Oh, could I want to try Archer now? Yeah, yeah, nice. <clears throat> Booting, I've inspired you to try new classes. Love it. 
Mm. Very great sword, Krosnik. Very, very great sword, yep. Come over here so I can hit you! Yeah. Don't know how well I'm gonna be able to... ...defend. Whoa. What was the lighting? Did I make up the charge, or did you guys see something like that too? Luckily, with you as a sorcerer, we're gonna be fine. Bump. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Been enjoying this? Yeah, man! Fuck off! My first dragon's- nice! Well, it's very much like Dragon's Dogma 1. Uh, as, as far as I can tell. About town. It seems to take place in the same world sometime later. Someone has conscripted new voters for the next execution. Wonderful. Zeke! You fucking legend. What's going on, cunt? Hey, no one, mate. Having a good weekend there? Thanks for throwing money in my face. Another day of, uh, another group of new blood for the Blood Gods. Thank you very much and welcome, you guys. Enjoy your votes in the next execution. Zeke's got you covered. Cheers, baby. Thank you very bloody much, mate. If we're to break it, it shan't be from this side. I don't know what you're on about, but the other bitch said that when we're here as well. <sighs> I don't care. I don't care. What did this say? In the event of a monster attack, take going to the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. I'm glad to see you in such fine fettle, Arisen. You're even more impressive than when I last clapped eyes on you. It's Starlight. We were hanging out with her yesterday. She wasn't a sorceress then, though. She was a mage. So she's, you know, she's upgraded. That's fantastic. I'll add, I'll add you to me faves. Because, uh, because you were a lot of fun. I don't need another sorceress right now, but it was really nice to see you again, Starlight. I'll never forget a face, especially not on a huge bitch. <clears throat> and that was a very nice face on a very huge bitch. So, like, I know, know him from a mile away. That was good. Really nice. All right, we are going in. Where am I supposed to be meeting him again? Was it in the tavern? I think it was in the tavern. I mean, either the tavern or the inn. I haven't actually been in the tavern yet, have I? Let's go have a look. Wearing matching pants with Celine. Yeah, yeah, the ga the gash peekers. Got a pair of gash peekers. Um, pants are you wearing, my darling? The savant's boots. Yeah, yeah, very savantish. Absolutely. When I think savant, I think boots and a bikini. My oh, jam. The star drop in. Hello, every Oh, it's quite packed in here. I think you're safe just because you're in the city. I think Monsters I'm safe because my sword's taller than I am. More ferocious. Okay. Found its way inside the common just the other night. Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here, I think. Cold. Look at you go. say it was an ill twist of fortune. But mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. Elden Ring put a lot of effort into having the fiddlers moving the fingers with the tunes. Dragon's Curious. Dogma did not. Someone has bestowed the blade upon another member of the court. Delicious. No shit. Oh, you gifted Gaia. The gift of execution. What an absolute... Fucking champion, thank you very much, my friend. And Gaia Shield, welcome to the executioners. Happy hunting, my friend. <clears throat> if you get any executions, a small portion of the experience that you would gain for said execution will go to Holt Undead to help him rise to the ranks. <clears throat> as your executioner daddy. Happy hunting? Enjoy. Employee ex executioner of the year, right? How, how, how wonderful is that? Beautiful. Pi executioner pyramid scheme is exactly how this was designed. 
with very good reason and very good results. Fucking barbershop and burn that place down. Ten fucking grand for a haircut. Tell him she's a dreaming. Alright. Oh, I don't think it was the tavern, although the tavern was nice. It had, a, it had a very comely vibe about it, didn't it? Execution to daddy, what a term to hear. This is the channel for fun terms, alright? Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. That's what I was... Well, that's what I, oh, oh, did I not go to the tavern? Is this the tavern? This is the inn. I thought so. Oh, shit. The benefit of being a big fella, innit? You can fall off and face plant, and you barely even feel it. Not even a scratch. Cunt just really wants to get to the tavern, okay? <laughs> right on a pumpkin. <laughs> Probably a good screenshot in that. I should have reacted quicker. Did I just jump out of the tavern? Yeah, I did. This is the inn. Where's the fucking tavern then? Welcome to the Star Drop It. We serve huh. all manner of fine ales here. I don't have any money. Oh no. Always a pleasure. Did it just do what I think it did? Ah. Oh. Welcome to we serve all manner of fine ales here. There is a path for time. Always a pleasure. It's a shame. But whatever. Oh god. Welcome to the star we serve all manner of fine ales here. I love that it's um Come back anytime. That it pack gets packed at night, right? Your Majesty. Your tis not a matter for prying ears. Oh. Pray. Let us speak out here. That's who I was looking for. Cool. Nice. Probably walked past him every time. How many pawns learn after you there? That's, that seems fun. As I informed you when last we spoke, mm -hmm. the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Mm. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray. Allow me to summarize them for you. Okay. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation? I thank you, your majesty. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to cop. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. Off we go then. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. The Trevo mine is where I went to get these this gear. <laughs> I guess the main story was going to send me there anyway. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. 
Yet I fear we have few other options. Okay, infiltrate the palace. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels up for now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would right. that I could undertake the task myself. What say you, your majesty? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. Okay. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your ma of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermon to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Of course he does. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might yeah, you be willing to aid that sounds like fun. ...means for you to enter the palace dungeons. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Should you be discovered, I will be unable... Find a way into the palace prisons? And what was the other one? Slip into the palace through the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn and search the queen's office. The magistrate is being held in the dungeon. Make use of the key you received from Captain Brandt and pay him a visit. The dungeon. Right. Well, it'll be midnight in a bit. I wonder how I'll determine when it's midnight. Is this a uh, rim of this map a clock, or is it just cool looking? I wonder. No eyes, undead. Cheers, mate. I walked by him with half a dozen times as well. I didn't want to say anything. No, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you didn't, Master. Good. Good. <clears throat> I should have walked in looking for that particular guy. I just had completely forgotten who he was and what I was doing because this is that kind of fucking game, you know? Uh, I had other priorities. Viner's Salon? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You, you need only make a worthy offering in exchange. This feels like something that was in the first game. I have seen your path. <laughs> You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. Oracles are useful allies in a chaotic world. Their guiding sight allows them to impart words of wisdom to the arisen, illuminating the path they ought to follow, or revealing the course of action they should next take. If your quest has you at an impasse, or you've lost your way on your adventure, pay a visit to an oracle. You might receive a hint that will point you in the right direction. Pay, uh, pay 50 gold for backseating. <clears throat> 50 gold, 50, to have a fortune teller tell you where to go, or one, or 10,000 for a haircut. The slum. My head hurts just thinking about it. Common quarter. Okay, I came from there. What's, what's what down here in the do? slum? Where's my coat? Where's my coat? Yeah, you better, you better keep your hair in a good state. You wouldn't want to fucking need a haircut, would you? You're not getting one. It costs more than the houses here. Um, I feel like I ran out of the that lantern oil faster this time. <laughs> maybe I could. Maybe you could actually add more than one to it. I think there's plenty of oil, you know? Okay, cool. 
the fir the first lantern lasts forever. The second one needs the second time needs a bit more. So they get you. Fair wolf, fair. Love all that shit. I know I'm stealing from poor people here, but I'm okay with it. Alright, so the dungeons don't appear to be in these circular rampart buildings. The gracious hand. Oh. Very gracious. This is a place of prayer. Well, this all smacks of the sort of fucking shit you need to come to for some fucking quest that I'm going to hate, but, um, that's okay. Oh, wait a second. Yum. Something shifty going on down here. Some necromancy, perhaps? I'm gonna just I was going to say, either I've been holding a piss in for a very long time and just got to the toilet, or... Zombie. Good day, sir. One or the other. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Who's this fellow? Well met, Sir Arisen. Might Hendrick. I trouble you for arms for the poor? I have a fish. Many thanks, me for... Well met, Sir Arisen. You can afford for pet... Well met, Sir Arisen. My... You can afford perpetual thousand bucks, mate. That oracle getting ripped off. The poor people want a grand. I don't have that kind of money on me right now, okay? I just bought some very expensive armor, which I'm gonna need. Apparently, I take a lot of damage. Speaking of, I think I want to put that health ring back on. I'm gonna fucking need it. <clears throat> You're right, mate. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent. There's no point talking to people in this game. It's completely fucking useless. Context-free nonsense. Rivel. Dilla. Crash. Ooh, a pub. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Yeah. Not for two fucking grand. I won't fucking be a motherfucker. You can keep your good stuff. Two grand for a fucking beer. All right, I'm out of this point. You know. One tenth of a haircut, yeah. It'll be a basement for Vlad to sleep in from time to time. It does. It, 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 I did get homely vibes. Yeah, I agree. Spuds. Always in need of good spuds. If it's a beer for the whole bar, makes sense, 2K. True, yeah, yeah. If you shout, if you shout, shouting the, the place, yeah. I'm not, I'm not shouting anyone. I'm not made of money. Fuck, I know. I feel like I've come out of the city through the slums here. There must be another entrance there. Hmm. They said past the second bridge along the east road was a group of soldiers that needed help or something, so maybe we're heading out in that sort of fucking kind of direction then? I know where the, where the mine is. 
Yeah, I guess we'll go this way. I, I was going to go check out the, 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 the prison, but I've kind of, kind of left the city again now, haven't I? We might as well go for a fucking wander. Finished remake last night, had about two hours, two or three hours sleep of that, the last fucking chapter, god fucking damn. Remake, not rebirth. The, uh, the whole fucking Sephiroth fucking shit and stuff. What'd you think? Give a man a fish or feed him for a day, as they say. As they say. And I gave him a fucking fish, didn't I? Ooh. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't be picking up everything. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got I've got to be careful, I'm getting turned around. Generally enjoyed the game, but I just had to tune some of the shit out. Okay. I meant about the, the last two to three hours. Sure. Can I get through this way? I don't think so. Unless. No, I don't think so. I think, I, oh, I think I'm going to have to go back down, follow the water back down to that bridge, eh? Interesting. I like that they've got all the farms and stuff just outside the the castle, especially in a in a, in a war torn nation where dragon attacks are frequent. You want to keep things fairly close to your chest. The fucking shit! Should have quit once we hit the road. Thought you stopped playing Rebirth. Did you finish off stream? No, no, I gave up. Sorry, mate. <clears throat> I, I finished Remake. I pushed through Remake, you know? And I gave Rebirth enough of a chance to sort of, like, just show me if it was going to be more of the same shit or if it was going in a different direction. Because it could have gone in a different direction. But really, uh, after they didn't carry over any of the stuff from the first game, I was pretty much done. And then the open world... This is my kind Why of open world. coming to assail us? Mayhap we've scared them all off? <clears throat> Not my thing. Remake was better than Rebirth. Take those real. Yeah, no, no. I, I think, I think for a lot of people that that rang true. Who's this? Hell. Hello. I'll do it. My skill can't go out of that. To the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Uh, yeah, I agree. Hello. I've a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try. I've no need of a harpy. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, I've no no need of a harpy beacon, thank you. If the pawns offer great quests, like the ones pawns was talking about, man, I'll fucking get into a good quest. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Kind of like Elden Ring? I mean, yeah, in, in a sense, it's, it's got that very big, I want to spend more time in the open world than doing quests to the vibe. Oh, Goblin. Hello. Alright, mate. 
Lateral damage. Do not test me. Yeah. That's a guard, not a pawn. Nice. Very chunky build, this one, huh? I didn't want to... I, I was too scared to even expected. try and hurt a Nox before. Now? Nah. Easy, mate. One hit. All good. Elden Ring open world. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Third Mask uh, has opinions about Elden Ring's open world. <laughs> it, it, I'm not saying there are similarities per se. I'm just saying exploring this world feels like exploring Elden Ring's world to me. It, it encourages me approaching it in a certain way. Re Rebirth's open world, for example, you do, I don't feel like getting lost in the brush and running around without a map and popping up in different places. Uh, try, going, going on grand journeys. Whoa! You're not to regret this. And not getting back to where I was supposed to be for days later, you know? I didn't see him over there. Sorry, Alan. Yeah. No more? How big your dick is. Think about it. All over my face. Al, you're a fucking champion, man. I love you. Good to see you, dude. Thanks for the huge fucking sub, man. I'm liking that move too. We get, we get. I'm getting something going with this with this build. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a little, uh, little prac. But uh, I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling, I'm feeling comfortable. Vlad the Impaler. Oh, what if they have a spear build or something? A, a spear club? I don't... I, I no fucking idea what the other... What I want to say is three... Vocations are. A spear one could be pretty crazy fucking good. For, for, for our... For our... For our Vlad vibes, you know? <clears throat> I love the rapier. I just... You know, that's kind of what we did with Elden Ring. And I'm down as fuck to go rapier again. Don't get me wrong. We have options, but the rapier was really just a sword that looked like a rapier. It didn't actually have any rapier abilities. Very hard to go from Elden Ring's rapier to this. Oh. Done. Hit. Done. Crunch. Lightning death. Hey! Level 3, love it. Level 3 for both of us. We're, we're making progress, mate. No worries, don't have a go, mate. See you soon. Half sword, half hammer, all badass. Love it. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Alright. 
Is that another skelly? Oh, I see it. Hello. Hello. You're a, a two-handed, a warrior skelly. Are you nice. A sorcerer skelly, not a mage skelly. Oh, a little bit different. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Yep, nice. Hit check. Is that crap? Oh. Fucking took him straight in the face and crushed his skull with the swing so I don't have to chase it down. Wow. It's the little things. Isn't it? Good grief. That gets me fucking raunchy. I need to fuck something. Gets me swearing. Of picking things up, aren't you? Yeah. <sighs> you crazy? This is prime fucking prime meat. I need to wait three days and then dry this shit. Okay? Good stuff. Is there a way to give you uh give you a fucking I enjoy meal? tackling fierce foes. No. You got a scar on your cheek? Yeah. Oh shit. I don't know what that was. Okay, second bridge is coming up. I meant with regards to possible class choices. Most people would not consider that a spoiler. Wait, most people would not consider the different classes in the game a spoiler? Treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? Is that, is that, is that the argument? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming at you, Taggy. I'm just curious. I will actually give you a heal right now, just in case you need it. Oh, where'd you come from? Thief. Warrior versus thief, huh? And sorcerer. Them coming. I'm gonna need uh, some good food here, I think. Let's go with a uh, exquisite robberunt. The real good stuff. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We're gonna need, uh... You. Are you working with the ghost? Rabbit. I'm grateful to you, Arisen. 
can still not let you access items without going to a menu. Oh no, there's a there's a little panel of four things. <laughs> oh, go to items menu? I never saw that one. That is a faster way to do it. That's awesome. Uh, so I guess it's uh, healing items and um, st and um, stamina items, kind of like The Witcher, I think. But it just it'll grab the lowest tier version or something and just automatically use that. Now about my question that I asked, did I get an answer to that one, Taggart? A good ninety-five would not consider that a spoiler. Oh, right, but. The, like, the game itself lists them as question marks, right? Like, like it's, it's, it's gone to great lengths to keep them hidden from you. What 95% of Twitch believe is not a relevant statistic in this... A bullshit statistic. <laughs> <clears throat> Motherfucker. Um, what what ninety five percent of Twitch believe in this in this scenario would be completely right, and that's not putting aside the fact that I put blind in the title, no spoiling, no backseating, first playthrough, etc. I understand it's valid. Okay. I don't know if it's a valid way to play, like, it's the, it's the way to play. Because the developers hid the information from you with question marks, and if they wanted you to have it at this point in the game, then they, at this point in the game, then they would have given it to you at this point in the game. What you want isn't relevant, unless you go out and seek that information yourself, yeah? <clears throat> Spoiling yourself, cheating, whatever you want to call it. But for the default, for you to somehow be in the opposite there, Fix your heart, son. It's broken. Hey, I know where we are. As soon as the sun comes up, I completely recognize this place. And this is the second bridge. Cool. Uh, might just, uh, might just have a little camp as well, eh? But, oh, barely need to, to be honest. Fuck it. <clears throat> have I got any aged meats? I got rotten. I got three aged. I might even just combine two of those. Make a dried meat. Wait, did it use three? No, one. Cool. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make a habit of camping a lot more often now. I think because of the uh, buffs that it gives. That's that's the main thing, which I didn't realize existed. Rotten meat is technically aged meat. I mean, you're not wrong. Aged scrag of beast, which gives recovery, so strength, defense, stamina, and recovery plus. I'm not I believe sure the what this place is done. Plus must be how long it lasts or something. I said you missed something during Lords of the Fallen uh, and deservedly got beheaded for it. If you aren't sure if Cody knows about it, don't mention it. Yeah, no, 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 no that's, well, that's fine. Let I, I, I was, I was more interested just in, in, in the, so full. the idea that most people would not consider that a spoiler. <clears throat> I was like, well, I mean. Oh, and I can break camp? Yeah, nice. I don't even have to sleep. I can just uh, have a meal. And that, that, does, does my health fill up? Because I have recovery now. Interesting. I got that right now? Yeah. Why is the cooking so realistic? So here's the story, right? As it was told to me. The developers decided to spend the CGI budget for making awesome food on buying a bunch of awesome food that they then cooked and filmed. Wow.
Looks damn good. Head down to your local grocery store. Buy a, buy a piece of metal, a box of matches, and uh, a slab of meat. And you too could have the exact same thing. <laughs> Maybe even better quality, really. Although those cuts did look pretty choice cuts. Ah, uh, this is where we fought the ogre. I know where we are. Yeah. What do we got here? <clears throat> Any pawns uh, in the market today? Simple. Yes. Pawns in the river. These are, yes, yeah, simple pawns. Uh, travel together for a day and night. Oh. I, I, is there no easier way, and I'm asking this genuinely, is there no easier way for me to determine what I get for bringing a pawn with me and completing the quest? Okay, this this tells me what I need to do, but not what I get paid. And I don't want to walk around and talk to each one of them I to know find precisely out. Precisely when a curative is needed, Master. I have a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt. Oh, okay, so th so the way you would do it then is, I can do this quest. Add marker. Ludo. A grand adventure awaits us. You give me a half spot. Not taking you. Goodbye. I get it. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Not again. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a dangerous. I can run around with my sword put away. I'll do that. Symptoms include an unruly and overconfidence, and in the end, Turn our backs on our master and our duty. Nice. Wants me to slay a Cyclops and gives me a potato, right? As if. Why? Why would I do such a thing? It's ridiculous. Do need some more quenching syrups as well. Cool. And we brought my weight down, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Lovely. So I didn't go across the second bridge. I guess I gotta curl back around after this one. That's that's okay. Is that what I think it is? Oh no. We scream in each other's face. What does that do? I've forgotten what that ability is. Shouts to draw the attention of hostile targets. Yeah, that was the one I was... Rushes forward, tackling the target. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. Maybe it charges at them if there's an enemy? Hmm. Alright, I'm starting to get it. Jump triangle seems to be by far the most valuable attack. Oh, hi.
How'd that work out for you, dickhead? I brought big fat armor. You fucked up. <laughs> Where'd you scurry off to? <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I shall know my pain twofold. Is there another cut? Oh, there's a couple. Hey, boys. How you going? Oh, cool flip, bro. And I'm just fucking zoom. Oh. The AI is stupid as fuck, obviously. They're constantly, but. but I was cool. Third green. Hmm. I'd um, just give those to uh, Celine. But I, just so I can keep my, myself at an in average. Because I'm going to. I'm going to lose a lot of my mobility. <clears throat> and with this. Class in particular, right now, seems more important than ever. Maintain mobility so that I can run and smack them in the face. <clears throat> some janky movements with lines like "Think you can run" has some big Oblivion vibes. The yeah, more I play it, the more Monster Hunter, the more uh, Oblivion. You know, um, let's say Elder Scrolls. Uh, I see in it. What the fuck's going on down here? Come on, they, Let's they, dance. Secret. Oh. Couldn't have come at a worse time. I only hope our victory is a quick one. Bandits, huh? Oh, you cheeky buggers! I love it. Thirty-six hundred stashed away in this joint, huh? A little ruin that you've taken over for yourself. Thirty-six hundred bucks you probably pilfered off random fucking women and children traveling the road. Hit it behind a bunch of boxes. Had the red herring fucking chest up top with the padded greaves as well, so you think you're done here. The astute observer spots the hidden hole. Right? Love it. Shot. Are you, oh, you're not dead. I just knocked the bitch fucking out. Good now. Sorry, right, darling. They really don't change their target. When I use when I use this shit, you know. Oh, nice. Done. Done and dusted. You don't want to eat those fish? Fine. I will have the fish. I'm not picky. You can have a potion then. You're just having one, because otherwise you just chug them down like fucking willy-nilly. And, uh, you know, they're not... We don't have a mage with us. <clears throat> we run out of these potions. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, so we're heading we're heading further down here by the look of it. I, th I think that big sword on the um on the map is our destination. Makes sense. Heading in heading in that general direction. That's fine. That's fine. I'm still getting to know the area well enough. Ooh. Oh, is this oh this is your camera. Sorry. Is there no one else? Are you not entertained? Etc. Etc. Hey, Riftstone, I must have already been here. Riftstone of Validity. Uh, <clears throat> Receive misshapen eye too? Camp in Vernworth three times in a row. Pleased to make your Hunt's name was LOL, so I don't see it happening. You might be coming with me. I'll just check the other guy. I mean, honestly, even with though. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. It's a bit simple, but um, but it's gonna work out. We've got one up for one uh, k gold for three camps. I enjoy tackling fierce. He does one tenth of a haircut. I prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Receive two misshapen eyes. I just gift them to him, or I have to go and kill two cyclopses. It must be gifting them. I don't know. Reward thunderous concord. Rubbish. Nonsense. But the other guy? The other guy? Useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. I say we start with the location nearest us, which will save us a world of effort. Right. I don't need to cook because I already cooked, so we're just gonna have a we're just gonna have a little nap, I guess. And the idea there was uh, that, oh, I have to camp three times in this Ooh, area. Right time already. My thoughts was rather dark. In order to complete his quest. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. It pains me to say it, but I've nothing to share just now. <laughs> You got any holy attack? You shut the fuck up. Nice, Celine, nice. You think he's going for ultimate prisoner of war? We made this gimpy bastard. Gifting a sub to mischief. Good on you, mate. Thank you. How you going? 
Uh, yeah, so we're following the road in this this kind of a direction. It's fearful dark here under the trees. I can scarcely see my own feet. We cannot let our fear get the better of us. Else, who will protect the Arisen? Yeah. We're also trying to keep a keep a weather eye on the horizon for Kent. in trouble. Oh shit, I ran out of stamina. Sorry, bro. Stamina regen's a bitch. Got his head, yeah, nice. So I can totally aim his head down. I'm pretty sure. Episode. That's what we're looking for. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Thank you. Make camp. Uh, looks like our healing items have worn off now as well, so we might as well have a little little food while we're at it. among our ranks we've no one to heal us in times of need we i think i'm happy with just a standard rank so... oh, yes. ghastly as well hey mate oh, yeah. thanks well, for 29 back, months cheers old friend. We've met sick you. cunt i'm all for swapping stories but perhaps another night i can scarce keep my eyes open indeed Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. Oh. Alternate night and day, I guess, between camps. That should be two camps in Vernon Worth or wherever the fuck we are for him. Our adventure continues. Off we go then. One more and we get a free Cyclops eyeball. Which, as you can imagine, are relatively challenging to procure. I feel like it's a good deal. Material. Useful things, these. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. I reckon he's simple. What do you reckon? I'm getting simple vibes. We're going further down this way. Oh, okay. More green varish. Probably the most useful thing in the fucking game. Nice. This can't. I'm back where I bloody started. I know. I know. I know this camp. <laughs> oh, I ended up back there. All right. Follow the road. And he says as he walks off the road and into the forest. Oh, hello, boys. Uh, I jumped and pressed triangle and he jumped and put his sword away. That's the jank, man. Wow, I, I didn't press left trigger. Okay. 
there was. There won't make a difference if I'm right, you see? Oh, pardon me up. Heavy sword. Are we ignoring the enemy today? You have been tired of risen. Wear open flame. Ah, uh, I'll be right. Not a fan of playing as a mage, yeah? I guess you're a healer? Mages are healers, right? Predominantly. That seems to be, uh, what they're designed to do. Do you normally play healers? You didn't strike me as a healer. Prevailed by the skin of our teeth. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up and. Snipe, master! Our foe aboard the cold. We'll want to use ice against it. Did it melt in the water? Is that the slime's weakness? Fantastic. No, I normally play mages. This is a fake mage. Right, yeah, yeah. That, that's, um... Caught me off guard in the first one. You want a sorcerer. Like that. Gonna be everything you want and more. I'm almost positive of it. Completely different play style to the mage. As I understand it. And real nice. Did you not die? Oh no, you didn't. Looked like you were coming at me. Oh, there's you that- Whoa, that was cool. Nice. Lunch. Lovely. What? That is <clears throat> thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Environmental weaknesses, nice. Oh yeah, plenty of it. Plenty of it. Doesn't seem to get a lot of play at the moment. But I guess it depends on the class that you're playing as and things like that, right? Like, if I was playing an archer, I had tar shots and explosive shots all the time, then that would be huge. If I was playing as a mage, true. The most I've got so far is, as I am, do I have an element or not? Choice without a mage. Because of, um... It, May? Because of, uh... <clears throat> ethereal mobs that can really only be damaged reasonably well with uh, any kind of magic, as opposed to physical. Yeah, it hasn't meant much to me no yet. Oh, I'm I've gone wandering hand. again. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. One of us has been drenched. That's a fucking mage for you, Leaks, baby. Thief, however, is a hoot. Yeah. Everybody loves Thief. Nothing. Zero physical. <laughs> We're well matched in terms of strength. Best we keep on our toes. Okay. Oh! 
<laughs> the slow motion because it was pulling up through slime was fucking crazy. Lane. Yeah, kill me. I'm just gonna sit here and continue to pump healing items and die. Oh my god, cunt. I give up. I give up. I'm just going to go back and not fight two slimes for no reason at all. I don't need slime juice. I thought it would just be interesting. <clears throat> I shall guide us to our nearest destination. Uh... Soldiers delivering freight were last despised near Vermin's eastern edge. Oh. So everyone has their own reasons for doing battle. But knowing that doesn't make it any easier to join the front... I suppose this so. Look at that fucking hammer, mate. Holy shit, what are you wielding? Are we friends? Oh, we're friends. As if this cunt lived through that. Are you crazy? Yeah, there's me warrior rank up. Cool. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I think I think I know this drone. Do you know this drone. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I do know this drone. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Yeah, and there's a rift stone out the back here. <sighs> I know places. I've been around this part. I just didn't know I was here. That's all. The Riftstone of Uniformity. All Ursulas, is it? Yeah, except for one Petra. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and oh. prefer combat thrills to gathering. Whatever. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us dangerous to ourselves and others. That was quick. Symptoms in the attitude and overconfidence, and in the end. We turn our backs on our master and our duty. Can that really be true? I don't like the sound a bit at all. The, the the quick tap triangle wasn't bad actually. Thanks for thanks for the tips, bro. I like it. Like this like the sword too, man. Like the sword too. Uh, oh sure. I'm I'm gonna leave you hanging. I'm sorry, big fella. We're just not that close, you know. to notice we've all got different vocations that is most fortuitous we must each of us what is that a tower nay no, a statue from this distance i cannot be sure we shall have to make our way over to it where did you see this statue i saw another campfire which, if we uh, rest that, I should be able to uh, complete this quest. Good night, Ashley! Thanks for hanging! Always a pleasure. If I just rest till nightfall, without cooking, do I get any heals at all? Oh my god, we got a pack. Never happened before. And I do, I fill up completely. 
too much of an adventure if all we do is make a cap. It is well to be prepared, but over-preparation will serve us not. I guess I wasn't camping very often the first couple of days thinking that they were limited use. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. Oh, yeah. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Now, how do I know what progress I've made? With a particular pawn. Camp in Vernworth area three times, excluding twice in a row in the same place. Reward misshapen eye. As far as I'm aware, I've done that. Right? Where are these two going in such a hurry? They're on a mission. He's got that Quasimodo posture? Uh, uh, absolutely. Was Quasimodo the ultimate prisoner of war? And before I forget, perhaps we might add a thief to our ranks. I know a good thief. We've no need of a thief if we're content to overwhelm our foes with sheer force. Fine. These guys have a uh, mottled skin. I imagine they're uh, the enemy ambusher cunts. I remember these. You're running. Prepare yourself. Goblins flying around. I think he's on our team, right? I know precisely when a curious. I say we start with the location near. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, hello. What's your quest? Oh, you don't have a quest. Gareth. Hmm. Sorry, mate. Full of porn. Just no quest. You're, you're back off on your mission. Last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these. I'm all talked out, master. I just don't know if I've completed his quest or not. Maybe you have to go to a go to a an inn or something. I did, Nelf. I watched the last two games of Louis versus uh Marine Lord. And I watched all of the Beastie versus Puppy Paw games. Uh it was the the first Beastie Puppy Paw game was fucking awesome, man. Fifty minutes fucking back and forth didn't know who was gonna take it the whole fucking time so cool it was Delhi versus I forgot now Byzantine Delhi versus Byzantine crazy what a fucking set from puppy right never seen puppy play like that before absolutely fucking incredible stuff beautiful <clears throat> One more camp somewhere else to confirm. I mean, it does, wouldn't hurt, but I, but I feel like I did three. So, like, may, maybe they don't tell you when they complete the quest. Maybe they do. I haven't completed a quest, but whatever. 
I can, I can keep Quasimodo around for a little longer. No big thing. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. I'll be sure ought to be found there. Can Is that you see it? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Are these the soldiers that needed help? I suppose I'll handle this. Oh, saw it. Hello. Don't let them touch the shipment. B, how did this happen? Capture card had a moment. I must admit that it feels wonderful to strike true. Then. Not a bad idea. Three thousand bucks. That Ooh. was impeccably timed, Arisen. I was sure we were to meet an early end. Fortunate we are that you should find us when you did. No, Arkas, mate. I presume that's just that. Yeah, it's just that. Now and now we're out here. Now I can teleport back I to seem town. I to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Who'd you explore it with? Away? Yeah, show, show, show me, darling. No fast travel unless you pay for it. Yeah, no, you God, no, no. You can use um these stones. I, I you know what? I didn't bring my stone. I, th I think I must have, I, I probably put my stone back in my storage, knowing me. Unless we find one. Uh, cut, uh, free, free stones or something? I don't know. They let you teleport back to a particular crystal that you have to set. Oh. There is some interesting shit, though, about that. We need some more testing. Two grand, no. Strike hard enough, and we might not have to do this twice. I shall lead the charge. You right down there, big fella? Oh. We must spare no effort against this foe. There's been a suck of victory. The Minotaur. I think. Oh my god, it's, oh my fucking god, it looks amazing. Crack. Why do I get the feeling I've stepped into an area where I'm not supposed to be? And I'm liking that. How did I miss that again? <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Trying to get out of here, gave me a hand. <laughs> Are you bringing Celine to me? Oh fuck! You knocked yourself out, man. And peeing around and shit. Come 
Someone's come to aid us. This is great. The enemy's movements have grown sluggish. Have they? has done them no favors. They all took to serve their strength. I shall lead the charge. Shit. Once you get stuck in with this class, you gotta kinda commit. <laughs> oh, there's the tunes. Okay, it goes for more than one. Whoa. Can't use that one to get up like the other one. Just missed the photo mode. Uh, oh man, it, it, it occurred to me a fraction of a second too late. But that fucking upward swing as the Minotaur goes down. To be gathered here, old Hunter's bow, now, a plumed cap, and a Minotaur horn. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't Did you, you eat a ranger, mate? <laughs> well fond of picking things up, huh? Hmm. Okay, so as I am to deplete our stock of curatives, we've little choice without a mage. Be that as it may. That was fucking awesome, wasn't it? We killed a fucking Minotaur cunt. What the fuck? I have, I don't remember Minotaurs in the first game. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. <laughs> Which is such a weird thing to say. But I've been playing this game for like 25 hours, and I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've encountered an enemy of any kind. It wasn't in the first game. <laughs> first new, um, new piece of, uh, of video game. Uh, but, it, but, you know, it, it promises, uh, it promises more to come, doesn't it? Down she goes. The combat, it feels fun, Loin, man. And, and, and different vocations feel really fucking different, too, which is awesome. <clears throat> not just you know a slight difference it's a whole different play style even the mages i was reading up about w when i assigned sorcerer to my horn it gave me the full tutorial and it seems like there's a whole intricate system for managing mana and whatnot seems really cool may have to go get well i'm not sure if i'll go sorcerer with vlad anymore i was thinking there might be ways to take some of get like a, a battle mage combination going and I don't know much about I'll harvest what I can should it please I have a knack for gathering items and I'm... uh about cross classing and stuff but may maybe there isn't any cross vocation abilities it just seems that way for a minute we'll find out more as we go what I'm saying is it's great and it has the potential to be greater look at all the fucking corpses in this minotaur den <laughs> I love it Aged scrag of beast just sitting around, man. We need to find a we need to find a camping site, huh? Right, so oh. Apparently on my way to some kind of town. That's exciting. I could look upon this sky for all eternity. If it wasn't for the crick in my neck. Dragon... Do oh, Dragon Dog one was awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Really cool story. Really cool concepts. Like, it's a jank as fuck video game, and it's got pacing issues and all sorts of shit that, you know... Like, I don't want to give you the impression that it's a masterpiece or anything. It's just, But it's a really creative, innovative, one-of-a-kind... Well, now two-of-a-kind kind of experience. It's just... Uh, 
pays out in so many different ways. The expansion, the DLC, the expansion, Bitter Black Isle, added so many cool moments as well. It was, uh, fucking rad. Dark Reason made it a lot better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nameless village. The stairs that follow our every move mark this is no ordinary village. Is that right? You say that, but I sense no hostility. Whatever's going... Well. It does have a good PC port, yeah. Uh, from, from maybe five years ago, I'd say. Something like that. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? I was. You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? What's wrong about this There's place? No business to be had here, that's for sure. Oh. You sure? You look like you want to sell me shit. There's no business to be had here. Oh. That's for sure. Really? How curious. No wonder there was a minotaur guarding it. Sus vibes. Saw nothing. But he looked creepy in that light, didn't he? Fancy look at my wares. I thought there was no business here. Fancy look at my wares. Oh, it's just that cunt trying to drive you away. Okay, cool. What do you got? Oh. Silver rapier. Now that is a hat I can see myself wearing. It looks like the pants are all higher defense than the um than the sick ones I just bought in town. Isn't that interesting? Even the bush raiders. Hmm. I wouldn't have expected that. A lupine cape, I already have one. I'll ring of tenacity. Eh, stamina boost isn't bad, is it? Uh, I'll buy all of those. Uh, and all of those. And I guess that's fine. Thanks, mate. Business could be better. I'm scraping by. Do come again. You reckon it's because there's a minotaur and a really Just rude cunt? Fucking like running around? Such a sum. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. Clipping's gonna be a problem. I might use this helmet for a particular style, but I don't think I can use it right now. Oh, hello. What's this joint? The Nameless Riftstone. Oh, cool! Offering Emergent Vitalities, which is a heal for uh, camping. I think it's a good quest. Easy quest, easy reward. You want extra heals? Who doesn't want extra heals? Oh, no, I, I, oh, I don't care about official pawns. What are you doing? I'm talking. Search for friends pawns. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to bloody see. Is there a way to vote on people's pawns or something? Uh, I don't know. I thought the official just meant it was made by Capcom.
Is it not? Oh. No, it's not. Interesting. Like influences in Capcom, maybe? That's what I was thinking too, but it doesn't look like it, does it? If they have Steam profiles. Oh, Capcom Porn 24. Porn's your main porns, no? That's a cool one, yeah. Who's my porn been with? Zote, Mayo, Franz, Wolfgang, and some others. Yo, Franz's porn's worth two grand. I don't have an. I couldn't get. Oh, because it's level 31, I see. Franz, go get a life. Jesus fucking Christ. Friends pawns. Quests. Stickable. Whoa. Is that... Fucking, um... <laughs> fucking nachos trying to steal pork crystals off people? Allegedly, there's five in the game. Get a Drake. Wow. Griffin, wow. Arturo! It's kind of hard for me to use my friend's pawns, because even though they're cheap, you say you want to defeat a Cyclops. Fair enough. And you, what, you're, what are you, level 23? I could do it that way. Trying to find cunts around my level. Chookin's not got a quest. Uh, defeat a Minotaur. I just did that. Uh, level 15 Archer? Summon pawn. You? you can count on me to fly to your aid in your yeah. hour of need, Master. Defeat us. Knowing when to use curatives is... Not for three heals, mate. I ain't fucking bringing you along for fucking healing potions, am I? Uh, 24. Probably a bit high. 15. Hey, Luna. Tis a pleasure to meet you. 700 gold, yeah. Dragon doesn't have one. Mizors is stupid. Dandy? I know AJ. I know AJ, bloody dandy. I see not even the Arisen could resist my charms. Fucked up eye. Defeat a Cyclops for 9,000 gold. Come on in. Welcome aboard. They exhaust me so. Uh, is there a code to get Celine? I don't know. I don't know where it is, but um, Acan knew it at some point. Does anyone know where to find your code? Porn ID. Yeah, check her status. Right. You sent me a Steam request as well. Well, that, that makes it easier too, doesn't it? Easy, bro. <clears throat> Ultimate POW. 
He's got 41, a uh, 48 thumbs up. I've only got five. You know why? Good quests. My quest is admittedly shit, but I will, I will, I will have more soon. We just got to get that one done first, you know. Get, grinding out materials and then and then putting up good quests, so you get a good point. It gives me sort of a, a Death Stranding vibe as well. Uh, was there anything? Oh yeah, okay, we grabbed AJ Dandy because that was kill Cyclops for 9,000 gold. I'll keep a cunt on me to, for, for, for the promise of 9 grand. No? Nameless Inn. This inn better not be like f fucking 3 grand for a fucking night, mate. This is the inn, of course. Nothing's free in this world. Okay, that's, that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Getting proper rest is an important... Let's see this place by day. You can use others as main pawn. You can bring others' main pawns with you. Your pawn has returned from a journey beyond the rift. Travelogue. This arisen was cautious and led us with a steady hand. They grew mightier with each challenge we faced. I shall need a flexible mind to digest these experiences. No one kind of comes that we're going to bring you along. You're going to need a very flexible mind. Gained uh, three thumbs up and a love heart. Uh, RC475. And the quest is now 15 of 50 for the Venworthian Galavanta. Oh. Received equipment from an Arisen. Oh. Thank you. Lex, Alza, Cameron Young, Springfart, and Cooper. Oh, isn't that lovely? You'll not believe the journey I've had. I'll wager my horizons are broader than ever. I don't. Yeah. Our adventure continues. What was what was the gear? Rangers tights. You come back with some Rangers tights and some third greaves. No, I gave you them. The Rangers tides you came back with. That's uh that's that's worth a few grand right there. That's good money. That's good money right there. Go then. By the way, uh just looking at items, have you got a bunch of shit on you? Of mine? Yeah. I don't know when we're gonna get rid of him. I hope you slept well. Hopefully once we can confirm that a quest has been completed. But I don't know how to do that. Okay, cool. You guys outside waiting? Good on you, good on you. Yeah, Houston, man. It's fucking good, dude. It's good. Depends on what kind of shit you like. Like, it's a great game. It's got a lot of fucking problems. It's got a lot of jank. Whether or not you enjoy it. It's, it's not just a simple, yeah, it's a good game, you'll like it sort of thing, right? It's a, it's a, it's a good game. But it requires a certain kind of person. A certain willingness to put up with bullshit. Uh <laughs> you know. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We Ooh. shall have to find a way to reach it. Yeah, like I, I I've always been a jank supporter, you know? I, I, I love good jank. Uh <laughs> and I talk about it all the time. Uh and then when a game like this comes along can be charmingly frustrating at times, but mostly very, very enjoyable. Because most of the jank causes funny, interesting situations. As for the rest, though, I don't know. Like You could say the same thing about Starfield. And I certainly don't fucking think that's a good fucking game. You know, so... It's, uh, it's case by case, I guess. Pretty popular right now? I'll bet it is. Even with everything Capcom have done... To sink the ship by launching it too early with performance issues uh, and and AI issues by um, by filling it fucking to the brim with microtransactions that have no place in any game, let alone a single player one. Even then, a treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. We well, have yet more locations to attend to. I say we start with the location nearest us, which will save us a world of effort. Travo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. Oh, that's where you want me to go next, is it? Out west. 
Yeah, that's a long fucking way, mate. I think I'm going to enjoy exploring here. This does look like it kind of ends... Yeah, there's no clouds here. So this is as far east as you can go, I believe. Okay. So out east, I found a minotaur and a fucking odd village. How do you know to expect you? I you're the out... Tell you. Oh. Hi, hey, I take it you're the outsider my lord mentioned. How did he know to expect you? I couldn't tell. <gasps> Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on-hill. This way, if you please. I shall do just that. Friendly minute, very friendly Minotaur. I'm enjoying the random exploration. I've hardly done any quests because I keep getting sidetracked. Dude, that's that those are the only open worlds I ever have fun with. For me, the ones where you follow a fucking quest marker from one point to the next. Forgettable every time. Meaningless. This no matter how good the other monster. elements are. You could say that there's a lot of really good things about Ghosts of Tsushima, but I would still say it's a pretty terrible game. Because, fundamentally, you're going from point to point, complete little fucking mini-games, basically, and um, unlock pieces of a, of a, 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 of a story that's you, broken up. <laughs> say no more. Broken up into little pieces. Specifically, to satisfy it being in an open world. I'm sure we'll come back Even though it ruins eventually. the pacing and the structure of those stories. With something like this... Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Reminds What's me of, like, uh, Breath of the Wild. As much as we can carry. Or, uh, Elden Ring. You don't even think so much about, like, getting to the end of it, right? Like, you're not thinking about the finish of the it's game. Time we pressed on. You or if you'll that? make it to the end, even. You're just sort of having fun in the here and now, get, getting lost and finding entertainment around every corner and unexpected surprises. And at some point, you know it's going to get pretty repetitive and mundane. And you'll need some other kind of progression to, to keep you focused. But um, you're not so worried about that right now. Because the beat for beat, minute to minute gameplay is just alluring and satisfying. My kind of video game. You're not waiting for it to get good. You know, it starts there. You're waiting for it to get bad. <laughs> Manor atop yon hill, eh? Alright. Let's go have a look. I have something of a criticism. Oh, the OST is unremarkable. Hmm. I must know. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Interesting, because the first game is full of bangers. I wonder what. I wonder what the. I wonder if they just yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I would appreciate oh. your swift return, master. I fell unease begins to. No Uh, no. <laughs> it's like a platforming parkour dungeon. I ain't going in there unless you tell me to go in there. <laughs> that door looks like it leads to that house that was downstairs as well. Uh, I'm going to need some extra encouragement for that one. Good day, mate. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. Yeah, it's my kind of place. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. Now a good real estate agent. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. Peeb's gonna love this place. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. A worthy candidate for thievery? Which is to say, you have my approval as the thiefmaster. 
The Thief Maester? Man, if Peeve hasn't found this place yet, he's going creamy's deck. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont. And you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. They do know their shit. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Yes, yeah, Yako. <laughs> what else you care to ask? No, that's good. I take care then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. Legends Opus. And it didn't go into my... It looked like... Oh, is that it there? A tome. Detailing an exceptional ability for thieves. Use it to learn Blades of the Pyre. The Arisen's main pawn will also receive the same effect. If I, ju I just unlocked ultimate thief ability and have never been a thief how take this it is something i found i wanted you to have it is there aught else you care to ask i take well now we know where you level up thief oh I'm not a thief. Fair enough. Lovely little spot, isn't it? Alright, we're gonna check out the dungeon. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare alright without you for a little while. I suppose all we can do is wait. Feels like I'm supposed to be a max vocation thief come here and complete this task in order to get what was just given to me. And it, it's like bugged or something. Guess we're gonna have to try thief! <laughs> Maybe once I get those snake daggers unlocked with the seekers coins, I could try thief. Now that I'm already a master. The old lower ladder. We've found a couple of those, but I get the feeling now that you can't throw or shoot or do something to knock them down. You simply have to shortcut with them, soul style, Resident Evil style. Interesting. People just being like, you earn this skill, and I'm like, uh, okay, what I do? Yeah, right? It feels very odd. I think it's busted. That's my guess. 
Anyone here bought all the DD2 DLCs? That's bait. I need to be able to turn around in midair. That that ability to work. I wonder if the I can I can I can, can click turn around kind of. Oh, that's a leap worm. Nice. Gazer's Hood. I mean, a couple of screenshots, didn't I? Just sometimes you just catch a fucking reflection of yourself, you know, and just go, whoa, man, whoa. Stop right there. You're a stud muffin. Time for a selfie. Right? <clears throat> I didn't ask for this erection. Exactly. I wasn't going to do this, but I feel like I've earned the skill. Whoa! Oh. Rude. No. Made this place the leader of the thieves guild to test new thieves. Just a you made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. Is this the real thieves guild leader or something? So Riley, this is the guy at the, at, the, at the beginning of the town that said there's nothing here, go away. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. There's something about the sequencing in this place is off. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. If the fucking skill they give you... Okay, so they've got a plant up there who's pretending to be the, the fucking leader of the thieves guild, and he gives you the and you're like, I didn't earn this? But it's bullshit? And only a good thief would- Oh, man. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Like a red herring? Like, that. that is some pretty fucking awesome thieves- Like, not since Morrowind, I think, have I been so impressed in Thieves Guild, uh, implementation. That is actually amazing. Because it, it will- it will super- like, trick people thinking that's it. Because the skill you get is pretty ass, is it? Oh, that's so fucking awesome. Peeve is going to love this place. Nobody tell him. If he hasn't already found it, he's going to lose his mind. As a training course to get you in there, yeah. That's really, that's really like... What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Anyway, 
We send them packing. We only train them. That all you wanted to ask. Packing. Till next time. Amazing. Now, as to the maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. The Pilferer's Handbook. Tome detailing an exceptional ability for thieves. Use it to learn formless faint. The Arisen's main pawn will also receive the same effect. Ever played Morrowind? Ooh, Morrowind's a, Morrowind's a banger. It's not aged gracefully, but um, is Skywind still a thing? Is that coming at some point? Is that ever going to re actually replace... Uh... <laughs> Morrowind? Hmm. Hi. Okay. Hey, cheers, boys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's quite enough. Dear me. You're the one, then. Fine. What's that? Oh, oh, book. Thank you. I'm in no mood for a chinwag, thank you. Really blown away by how cool that is. That all you wanted to ask? Hi. Till next time. Then. Till next time, then. At least I, I fucking stumbled upon the Thieves Guild, eh? <laughs> I was so sus about this place. I'm so glad that I that I took the time to explore a little more. Another ring of cooling. It's uh fucking awesome. I instantly thought it was a bug because of how janky this fucking game is, which is a shame. Some daggers, some gold. Thief skaters, it just like fucking heaps of thief gear, nice. Still early game, so uh, it's good to know it's cool shit ahead. Yeah, fucking oath. I want to come here in my game now, but I feel I haven't earned it. Yeah, that's it's one of the few moments in video games where watching your favorite streamer actually genuinely spoils some shit, right? Like I'd be pissed if I saw this. No, no offense to you guys who just you know had this spoiled for you. I'm so sorry. Is this where you've been all this time? Yeah, it does it's come out exactly where I thought it would. Agreed to meet up. Nice. Our party is reunited. No doubt your dad. And they've got their own little dialogue for when you reunite as well. It's all just lovely. Yeah, me too, Sim. Absolutely. Uh, if he doesn't spot it straight away, how many people would try so hard to uh, to spoil it? Wow, fucking that that fog's nice and thick, isn't it? Alas, it would seem I've taken on too. Oh, you're a bit heavy. Much. You, you, what? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. I'm too heavy, can you? You're fucking nothing, mate. Way too heavy. You know what? Speaking of. I don't need to bring myself down a bit. Heavy's, heavy's better than very heavy. <laughs> a lot better than very heavy. Not good. I don't really like being above average, but uh, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll take what I what, what what I got. We can follow the rivers up and uh, and go up all the way to around there. Or we can just take this sort of. Back to towards the castle. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What's this road? What's this road through the through the mountains? You've surprised me with its world building and lore, just like the first game. Awesome. I love that shit. Are these pawns from your friends list? Actually, no. Oh, actually, wait. AJ Dandy is. AJ Dandy is. Yes. So I've been checking my friends list first and foremost, of course, because you guys are all free amazing and people who Celine has Don't been traveling with fancy narrow spaces I only hope we encounter no foes ere we are safely through mm, you guys coming for a journey out here too huh what a lovely what a lovely area 
Um, yeah, but then also just rift stones that I that I find out in the world usually give a selection of pawns, and I'm just checking basically what are the quests. Quasimodo here is going to give me a, a cyclops eye for camping three times, and Dandy is going to give me. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Seven thousand gold. And use them when the need arises. For killing a cyclops. So. I mean, I'll take seven grand for killing a cyclops. I assume a, a Dandy's uh, leader wants misshapen eyes or just wants the badge? I don't know. I'll, pro I'll probably send him home with a misshapen eye, just like Quantz did. I think that's a great idea. Give him, give him the, send him home with the loot from the cyclops. You know? They're, they're paying for it. The game doesn't force it to be that way, but it, that, that, that is a really cool way of doing it. Almost I know, I can almost get a haircut just off one Cyclops. I just got, oh, just got to find a Cyclops. Found a Minotaur out here. That was fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I got to go find a Cyclops. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it went so far away. Camp up there. Hmm. Not sure we, uh... I'm not sure we... Something. What? Where's my camping kit? She's still a ranger? Yeah, he's just coming out. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. You go wandering through a fucking thief den. And uh, come out with a motherfucking abandoned light purse. Just waiting I don't know, it was a good one too. Resting when and where you can is the secret to weathering a long journey. Luckily, I saw a modest one sitting here. Very good timing. No way they rob your ass too. I've never had one disappear for any reason before. Fucking shit, kind of a luck. No, no, I knew it was there. <laughs> Wish I had this luck. Hey, Just I, I fucking pay attention to shit, hemp, and I'm not stoned out of my fucking brain, so I remember where shit is, alright? Don't fucking pretend that's luck, alright? Fuck you. Never mind. We'll make it work. Last stream was like, I knew it was there. It's part of a part of a kit there. Misshapen eye. I completed the quest. I know precisely what a curative is need. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much. Quest completed. I get my eye. What do I give you? For camping. Obviously, an aged, uh... Oh, thank you for the chance to hone my swordsman. An aged meat. Because it was a camping quest, right? It makes perfect sense. Lovely. And off he goes. Beautiful. So, I mean, that, that, that's a free Cyclops kill right there. That's fucking amazing. All about it. All right, now we've got to find our way home. Uh, you would have me lead. Yeah, yeah, I would have you lead. Consider it done. You, you know the way. Depends on whether or not they've done the quest that I currently have selected or whatever, right? If they, if I have, if if they have, they'll know where to go. Pretty cool. Oh, someone's in trouble. Zombies. Don't walk up to it, Celine. Dandy.
Hello, darling. How are you going? Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad to purchase any of your unwanted items. You would be glad to purchase any of my unwanted items. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor. I am going to kill a Cyclops anyway, but I just, I don't want a fruit rabbit, you know? I, I, I don't feel like bringing pawns along with me that, um, that aren't going to get me, me, me interesting or uh, useful quest additives. So, selling them to another player. Maybe. I, I've never heard of anything like that before. A particular type of, uh, type of pawn disposition that brought that out? Sounds like a desperate uh, vendor room to negotiate. You never made that jump? I'm not trying to... I'm not in this fucking armor nachos. I'm a big boy now. Hmm. Oh, there's statues out there. Piece of candy. What another amazing day of adventuring. Care to behold a forgotten rich stone that is undiscovered in this world? Then follow me. It isn't far. Compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but be That's stuff. Oh. AJ? Finally added a move I've been at, avoiding adding to my thief's repertoire and just absolutely melted the shit out of Minotaur or some shit, like actually bullied him. Well, that's fucking great. I also just fought my first Minotaur, and it was fun. That was thrilling. Yeah. I did not know I could feel so alive. I know. Wait until we find out, Cyclops, baby. All right. I guess these uh, statues just. Oh, that's right. Where does your path lead? There's only one way to find out. Oh, that's a bit uh, a bit foreboding, isn't it? These statues all over the place have these cute little messages, sometimes a seeker stone as well. Not much else, as far as I've been able to. Something to note. None of our number are trained in the healing arts. I know. Have you considered becoming a mage yourself, Master? Just honestly makes it a bit too easy. I think people who bring healers are pussies. And I think these kinds of games are very obvious in how they allow you to customize the difficulty yourself. And I know why they do it. They want people to be like, oh, I don't I don't play games on very easy. What are you talking about? I'm a hard cut. 
and then they play with three mages in their party, right? So does, they, they can play on easy without ever having felt like they're playing on easy. But me? I'm too chad for that shit. Good question, AJ. I enjoyed it. Boom, motherfucker! Let us finish this quickly. Wow, I must. Phrase a bit excessive? Agreed. Agreed. G'day, Garrow. How are you, mate? I assume the person I'm guessing who's back just to say hello is you? This little encampment here. What's this joint? A zombie refuge! You pin him down, I'll knock him out. Love a zombie village. Down. Oh, I'm, I'm nearly down too. These fucking zombies don't fuck around. Fuck. Forgive me, Risen. I shall see to it this does not happen again. What's up with this village? Now, this is a freaky ass village, huh? Maybe only at night? Is anyone in here? Does anyone live here? I've already been here. I thought it felt familiar. Yeah, we, we camped here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember th there, was a, there was a door we couldn't get into until, until the morning when a bunch of thieves popped out of the, out of the joints. Your characters remind me of a, a specific scene in Helsing Ultimate, and it's sick. Oh, that's the best compliment my character's ever had. Thank you. My character draws a lot of inspiration from Helsing Ultimate. I'm so glad that uh, whatever it was came through for you. Wonderful. Cheers, man. Yeah, Ren. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging the warrior. Uh, yeah. I still want to keep changing classes regularly. Keep things fresh. I want Vlad to feel it all out, you know, but uh, but this is definitely a, a a lovely little step in the journey. Oh, did not see you there. <gasps> he killed me. We're nineteen, Selene. Yeah, good job. That was a death. That's crazy. The Riftstone of the Straightforward. Horns of the Straightforward Inclination. Receive Seeker's Token? Oh. Cool one. One of these defeat uh, Cyclops ones all about... Dummy mummy. Tiger man. Winona. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Nailed the Kratos.
Scrag of Beast ain't gonna get it done though, I'm afraid. Cool, cool looking Kratos though. One, one, one of the cooler uh, builds I've seen. I don't know why it's called Ren Renona and has that voice, but still, very cool. Need the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall oh, get. I see the arisen. Cyclops for 6,600? Sold! The chick with the fucking whiskers. Let's go. One Cyclops, and I'm getting 15 grand payday. The question is, where the fuck do I find a Cyclops? At this time of the eve. Hmm? Should have camped in that, um... Actually, can I? <laughs> As you wish, I shall return directly. <sighs> Later, Zell, have a good one, mate. Uh, what do we got here? An aged scrag of beasts. That's what we're looking for. Mm, I'm hungry. It's almost dinner time. I do kind of need to wrap up shortly. I can't be doing late things t today because I'm I for swapping stories. I got to get back on the. Perhaps another night. Got to get back on I the sked. You know? Keep my eyes open. Got to get back on the sked. <sighs> This is this, this happened last time I was here. Zombies by night. We'll never get anywhere before we do rest. I hate being this heavy. Alright. What could I possibly lose? Bring this weight down to a manageable level. Some scrags give to Alki. I should be trying to combine by a recipe first as well, right? Great deal of stamina, lovely. Uh, alright, how much weight are we talking here? Minotaur horns are pretty fucking heavy. Give them to Selene. Um, these books, Selene, you can have as well. Um, uh, still heavy though. Still a fat cunt! Yeah, there's just a bunch of materials I gotta get back to, uh... Oh, that's nice. That didn't even... Combine. Make lantern oil, that's fine. Still fucking heavy, man. Still fucking heavy. This bow. There we go. Not getting I'm not gonna get down to average. As long as I'm not very happy. Wait. Not much chance of a friendly conversation with this lot. Leave it to me. There you go. Lovely. Okay, let's roll. I gave up on management, dropped everything but lanterns into my stash. I need to give us the option to multi-transfer items to teammates instead of one at a time. Could help. I don't think it would make much of a difference. You can grab a pawn that just picks everything up and not pick up stuff yourself and things like that, but 
I don't know. I don't mind too much. That, that kind of management is uh, absolutely part of the game, you know? Right. Right, how do I deal with all of No shield. I think it's that. One. Cut the tails like that, maybe. Mm. Oh. Hey, vocation rank up again. That's fucking nice, isn't it? Both of us, beautiful. That's happening, man. That's happening. Campfire down there and some goblins. Not what we're looking for. Looking for a big fat cyclops wandering through the bloody forest, but I don't think I'm going to have time to find him tonight. I don't think so. I think I should wrap it up now instead, otherwise I'm just going to get caught up in, you know, an hour long fucking journey or some shit. I hate being right. Calls one of those lovely, uh, lovely dishes. What is it? Health and stamina. Oh, unreasonable. That's the big headshot. One, two, three, four, five. That's the good stuff. It's dull. It's dull. And he's fucking all over it. Sluggish? I like sluggish. angry.
No way. Bravely ran away, away. <laughs> huh. Off to Gondor. <laughs> Diminish Tirith. Hmm. Dumps me in there. Honestly, he was eating some uh, dinner. Really. To say that he jumped me is stretching stretching it. Fucked him up. Well, yeah, full party. It's, it's not so bad. Question is, where did he run to, and can I get to him and claim my kill? Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. He appeared? He should be.
motherfucker! Now what? What you doing? Huh? Some brain damage? Is that it? Let's try! Oh shit, don't be moving. Yeah, good fucking luck. That bitch in the fucking opening cutscene, she's hacking. Turn faster, motherfucker! Reckon that was the same motherfucker that I smacked? Or a different motherfucker? Pretty nice, him. Different motherfucker, yeah. So there's two near dead griffins. Somewhere out there. Well, we headed that way. We going on a hunt? You got damn right we going on a fucking hunt. We going on a hunt tomorrow! Sorry, mate. Four in the morning, and I got a, it's a school day tomorrow. I'm gonna pick Xander up, and then he's got dads at four, and then uh, swimming at five thirty. It's a full on day. Full on day tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> you can't DJ in this game. Is not 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 tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I should, I should really take a day off. You know, I'm standing up fucking all night and fucking voices getting raw and it, it just, just a reset and a refresh, you know, it, uh, to, to, it'd be a very, very good idea to take tomorrow off, which means there's a very, very good chance I won't do it and I'll, and I'll be playing Dragon's Dogma. But I hope that I won't. I hope that I'll be a good boy and not try and rush through and not try and fucking overexert. With three days of Dragon's Dogma and two days of Dragon's Dogma customer customization in a row, plus whatever the fuck we were doing beforehand, it's been it's you know it's, it's to have a day off and chill. It was a fantastic weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Dragon's Dogma, great energy, and we've stopped at a cliffhanger. Will we find the two injured Griffins? And take them down. Find out. On the next exciting episode. Of whatever the fuck this is. <clears throat> whenever the fuck I get around to doing it. Yeah. Then hop on some Tekken. Yeah man. I'll, I'll hop on some Tekkers with you. We can do a Tekkers night. I'm in. I love me some Tekkers. Get some fucking. Some Steve out. Let's go. Alright friends. Uh, have a good one. <laughs> I'll see you again, uh, see you again soon, alright? Have fun with the dragon's dogmarin, without me, uh, or whatever it is you're doing. And, uh, don't miss me too much. And I might be playing Age of Empires on Pawns' channel or something tomorrow. If you're, if you follow Pawns' channel, you might see me there. And, um, uh, go fuck yourselves. <clears throat> no, like, well, yeah? Give yourself a good rogering. You've earned it. Um, 
<clears throat> Give yourself one for me. See you soon.